Well, hey, hey, everyone. Hey, Oz. Hey, Oz. How are you doing, buddy? Who else is in? I'm not sure yet. I had a little technical difficulty there. I had the wrong time on the timer. <laughs> <laughs> Partly because we got East Coast and Central, I mean, East Eastern Standard Time and Central Standard Time, all messed up in our heads. And Lordy, 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 how do you do that? Anyway, we got one thumbs down, six people watching. Right on. So I may have uh, sabotaged ourselves. People come back in an hour and say what happened. Nah, no sabotage. Hey, Red, how are you doing, buddy? Red's here. Thank you, bro, for your, your <laughs> kids in there. Good job there, Red. <clears throat> that was fun. That was fun. That was very cool, wasn't it? Hey, Oz, how you doing? So do you ah, have America, I beat Red. What? Do we have those? Okay, I'm going to go put them in your own little how are you america box. america thank you for coming <laughs> you beat red <laughs> uh, hi That's cheryl funny. cheryl's here good to see you again i'm sorry about that i well i had the timer mixed up yeah i had it set for east what's east coast time right and we're central standard time so keeping up with everybody's been, <laughs> this has been this has been a ride <laughs> We finished the early auction, dealt with my daughter. A few minutes later, we got on Big T's channel for the Gleason benefit and uh, sold a bell. Uh, that was a great turnout there, over there. We get to remember what it was like to work full time. Hey, Todd. Yes, <laughs> we got it. Yep, got it, Todd. Yep, and goods and services. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. We'll send that out Monday. Is that going to be okay? No, I didn't. That's twice. What's that, America? Oh, you didn't beat him? Hi, Bayer, how are you doing, buddy? It's good to see you again. Cheryl, Todd, it's good to see you guys. Bayer Boys is here again? Cool. Yes, ma'am. So, we'll give it a, a couple minutes due to my lack of uh, being Wait able to tell time. When they come in, yeah. I never was good at telling time, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, no comment. No comment, she says. <laughs> I'm going to maybe send her up to Canada to visit you, uh, Red. Okay. <laughs> well, put me to work. Put you to work. And there's Bayer with his knives out again. So, yeah. Um, Mama Lou. Hi, Mama Lou. Yes, we're doing world goodies tonight. All world. Yep, yep. yep. Tonight's world night. We're going to take a trip around the world. Oh, yeah, look at all that. That's all. World all right. night goods. Basehead. Hey, Basehead, how are you, brother? Great to see you here tonight. Thank you for coming. See you over there. Okay, good, Todd. Okay, so it's going to go Monday. All right. Awesome. So, you've seen my five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> right on, Oz. <laughs> so I get you, brother. That's funny. That is funny. <sighs> so, yeah, it was, it's been a little roller coaster ride the last few days, but it's good to have you all in here. And, uh, YouTube, it's YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that was me up there. YouTube. I see. No, I don't do push ups, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you do need some work on the farm done, huh, Red? I yeah, know. well, I don't shovel stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alex, how are you? But I'll play with the animals. Tell the time. What's that? That's right. That goes along with the old clock that has no arms on it and says, who cares? I quit wearing a watch for the longest time because it just, I don't know. Who was it that told me there was a reason it was like not being so worried about time? It's kind of time. weird. And then now I just don't wear it. Work on the farm. Well, if you roll hay, I won't do it. But if you bail hay, I'll stack it on the wagon. You, who rolls hay? What are you talking about? The big round bales? Yeah. <laughs> Last time I I've never hay, heard it, it called bailed. that before. Roll hay. <laughs> but you know, that was. Hey, I was time stamped that 30 place. years ago. <laughs> Diane does not roll hay. <laughs> hey, Greg. Thank you, buddy. Greg Argopuffle, thank you for coming in. Okay. Well, well thank you. You well, uh, can clip all the goat's hoofs. Oh, yeah. And then they kick me right in the chin. I can imagine. My face. 
Don't be talking too loud about no dang goats or anything. You get Alden Davis in here drooling. <laughs> drooling. Yep. <laughs> clip the goat's hoofs. I can clip their hair, their fur, their wool. That's right, Alex. That's what phones are for is tell time. That's right, Alex. I don't use them for anything other than Who that. Who needs a watch? Get in the way of the bracelet when I wear it, which I don't do much. don't have a need. So I'm going to... So you're going to what? I think I have... Ink man. Hey, Ink man. I'm gonna put yes, those. fair warning. Fair warning. Ink man, I love you. There we go. There's our list Thank for tonight. Thank you for coming in and singing with me, too. <laughs> That's right, Oz. It's hard to wear that on your wrist. <laughs> Although my daughter did have one of them. What is that called? I don't know. That, uh, I watch that thing? I wa no, it wasn't an eye watch. It was different. It was like a Google watch. I don't know. Anyway. Hey, Donna Mac, how are you? Donna oh, Mac. My goodness gracious, it's America Silver Patriot. Satan, they're eating your m and <laughs> Redneck, are you jealous? Cover your ears, everyone. <laughs> Grab your cheeks. America, Jessica, got that train has started. Hi, Jessica. Unplug your headphones, guys. Here it comes. Seriously. Hi ho. Oh, hi ho is in the house. Thank hi you, hi ho. Is in the house. Here comes another train. Get ready. I can do that. Thank you, hi ho. Thank you, America. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Ink man is lurking. Good thing he doesn't have a wrench, or he'd be watching the corner too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you oh, guys are that's awesome. funny. It's good to see you, Jessica. Thank you, guys. Jessica, yeah, great to see you. Thank you for coming. Very, very cool. Hi, all. Thank you so much. I hope that doesn't bother you if I sing that song. It just reminds me. What? Hi, ho? Wait, yeah. It was kind of like when Brian comes in, Brian's world. Hi, ho is kind of like me. He doesn't have feelings. So, you're Well, good. Brian's world. He comes <laughs> in and I always sing that song. Brian's work. By the way, how is he, guys? I haven't seen him in a while. He's kind of on my heart. Just letting you know. If anybody knows anything, says anything, sees anything, or no, nope, just tell me what's going on with the man. Red, that's not very Canadian like of you. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in the cook baking with his wife. That is funny. Maybe pickling or canning or. You know what? What? My Mountain Dew is warm. Oh, you poor soul. That's awful. Hi, Brian Hooper, America, Silver Patriot. Hooper's in the Red, house. Alexander, there's Megan, Megan Bailey. Megan Bailey. Hey, from Texas. Yes, I know. That is like hey, super Terry. cool. Tejas. All right, I'm going to get. So I got to take this and put it in the refrigerator? Please, please. Diane's going to get me a do, and when she returns, we will get this party started. We appreciate you all for coming back tonight. Um. Hey, Clinton, how are you, buddy? Excuse me. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Hey, Jeff Dunn. Still no internet? Oh, sorry, Jeff. I understand that. All right. There we go. Sorry, I was checking uh Yeah, you know how it goes. Chop, chop. That's right. Refresh. Um. Mama Doe and Baby Fawn are out there, but I have a question for you. Why would her hair, her fur, be all, all of a sudden like it's black in spots, mostly majority from the uh, rain last night, you think, in the mud? She might be just wet. Who knows? Mm. I was like, what in the world happened to your girl? All right. <laughs> Sorry, I had to answer that. Um, you got a phone? <coughs> Bubs. Oh. All complaints. Oh, yes. Yes. Is Clifton in the house? Ha ha, mom is here. Hi, ha ha. How are you doing? Your mom. Haha, ha, your mom. Love it. Clinton is here. And Oz says, send all complaints to Clinton S. There's no complaints. 
So, okay, I see why we send it to well, if there is any. answer. Mrs. Red would say, well, you're getting a cold one. You can get me one. There you go. <laughs> she has the Roni. Rona, Diane, be careful. She's going to start eating through the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Rona. Oh, I see. Yeah, she got the Rona. All right. All right. Yeah. We have one. We lost eight. a fawn. Actually, a they fawn. were both sitting out this morning out front on the. Hmm. They were laying down while she was eating this morning. Yeah. All righty. So, Diane, do your little talk, please, and we will start this auction. We have 27 people in the room and only 16 thumbs up. Oz, what's up? What's, what's up? up with that? Black. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Eh, tell me what you want. Wink, eh, wink. Eh, All right, eh. Diane. First time bidders only. Please send an email to joeydurbin876 at gmail.com. Give us the details of your name, address, PayPal name. And let us know your YouTube name if it's different than your email name. Oh, that's funny, Clinton. <laughs> they go to Clinton S in care of Joey Durbin at 876 at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> if you live outside of the United States, that's okay. Send $5 PayPal to Joey Durbin 876 at gmail.com. Make oh. sure it's goods and services. This helps me to calculate your shipping charges. That $5 will be deducted from your first purchase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't argue with you. Mm -hmm. Nope, you don't. Must be 18 years of age or older in order to bid. It must have a United States address unless otherwise arrangements were made from the previous statement about the PayPal and Mr. Wilson, this is for you, such. brother. Oh, you know what that is? That's the sound of freedom, as someone would say. We do invoice after every auction. Of course, yet earlier we didn't because we're going to combine all of these from today into tonight's auction. Just to make it easier. Shipping is three dollars and fifty-five to eight dollars, which is included in the invoice. Now that, of course, is shipped in the United States, out of the country. It's a little bit different. We are shipping Monday instead of today. Obviously, today is almost is gone, and the post office is closed. So everything that we have done this week so far. I'm still within my limited of packages for trips. So Monday, because we of yesterday's events, wonderful internet issues. Everything is going to be shipped on Monday, but I need your invoices paid by Sunday prior to Monday because I print labels on Sunday. Oh. So be sure to pay that by Sunday. Use the invoices, please. That makes it easier for me to print out a packet slip for you, and then you know what you're getting in your package. Outside of that, all we ask, we really have no rules that we really go by except be sweet, be respectful, and be kind to one another. Uh, this is real money. We are selling real money. <laughs> yeah. That sounds weird. And, um, yeah, be respectful because we want everybody to be able to come back, have a good time, and it is potty time. Hey, Donna Mac, good to see you. Right on. Hey, Jeff Dunn, thanks for coming in. Whoop, whoop. We got a bunch of folks that weren't here this afternoon. So, yay. We get the other half of the world tonight. <laughs> Wonderful. Right on. All right, you guys. Who wants to start an auction? Are we ready? We're going to take a trip around the world. Yes. Of course, almost half of the time we'll spend up in Canada. Canada. Never fear. Yes. Coastal. And we're going to have fun, fun, fun because my daddy took my diva away. Uh -huh. Yay. Because we love them Canadian coins, them Canadian nerd coins. It's great to see you, Donna. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. Alrighty. Yes, welcome. Good luck, everyone. Good to see everyone. And uh, <sighs> what's new? You got an email world? that we were on. Interesting. That's cool. I wonder if they've done something different. That's interesting, Cheryl. Cool. Nice. Half the night in Canada? Oh, man. That, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go around the world. All right. Let's start this off. First item up for auction is... <laughs> let me find my camera. There we go. All right. Look at oh, there. Oh. A Canada 
Oh, here we go. And this is the 1975 Calgary Canada dollar. This is clad, not silver. Of course, we have. Oh, we got to flip it the proper way. Spikehead, good hey, to see Spike you. Head. It is the Durbans. We have the uh, Queenie on the reverse and all of her full cameo loveliness. <laughs> and then we have the Calgary Stampede. Uh, Bronco Rider guy there. Hey, Sir Egg. And so this is 75 clad Canada dollar, and we are looking for five dollars to open. Alex is at six. Thank you, Alex. Mr. Hidden is in the house. Well, hero hidden. Hero hidden. Of course. Hurrah, hurrah. Of How are course. you, buddy? It's good to yes. see you. Hidden came in at five. Alex came at six. Sirig. Hello, Sirig. Coming at six fifty. I don't have internet. They will be here tomorrow to fix it. Oh, Jeff. Wow. Right. He was, yeah. You know what I don't understand? Speaking of that internet. No, let's not get negative. No. Alex is at seven. It's how is it that we were residents and because of COVID have to work from home to make a living, right? How can they put us on the back burner and not come for seven or eight days to fix something? But if we were had a business account, we, they'd be here in 48 hours. I suggest we change it to a business account. Yeah, and pay the extra. Yeah. Well, if we have a problem, I they said they'd be up by Tuesday. Well, that's ridiculous. I was like, um, hello. Anyway, we're but talking about clients. We have hidden at seven fifty. Alex at eight. Alex comes back at eight. Thank you guys. Again, it's a nineteen seventy-five Calgary, Canada. So I'm sorry, Dollar. Jeff. Done that. You have to wait till tomorrow. Don't get her started, Jeff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cindy Adcock is here. Howdy, howdy, girlfriend. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you for coming. So Sirig is out. Thank you, Sirig, for Thank the bid. Thank you, Oz, you're awesome. I tried a bidding call. Yeah, we. Yeah, Mister Numismatist. I don't know what happened to you today, but um, that elephant pachyderm round happened. That to you were looking up. for. I am ridiculously ridiculous. You'll get used to it, says Clinton. Says Clinton. I understand, Clinton. Glenn, are you going to be able to hang out for a while? We appreciate your ridiculousness. Are you going to leave us in midstream? So we got Alex at 8, looking for 8.50. All in, all done? Don't leave in midstream. You'll have to clean up the floor. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck is right. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hello, Steel well, Horses. thanks, Cindy, for doing that. We appreciate it. Hello, Steel Horses. Thank you, Cindy. Hey, hey, Oz is calling her down. We have uh, Alex going once at $8. Going once. Going twice. Yeah, yeah, we're going twice. Ooh, ooh, we're going twice. Fair warning. Scrappin' comes in and he snipes oh. it at ten dollars. Hey, Scrappin' hey, hoarding scrappin'. Super fun, or AKA Scrappin' hoarding treasures and stuff. <laughs> That's my. You got name more for names you. for him. You had Tinkerin' and something. And, <laughs> or something. Oh, it is Tinkerin'. Hey, there's Mr. Roman, but we need 12 from you or 11 from you, Mr. Roman. Sorry. I understand. Sorry about your mess, um, Wilson. I have dogs to clean <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Clinton. Okay, well, thank you anyway. It's good I'm to see you, Mr. Roman. Here. Excuse me. It's good to Mr. see you, Mr. Roman just walked in. Okay. Well, if you want a bid, we're looking for 11. Is it silver? No, it's clad. No, this one is clad. Yep, just clad, sweet pea. Really but worth silver? There's wait another. for it. We oh, have wait uh, for silver it. Yeah. ones coming up. So, Alrighty, we have going once to scrap and hoard and tinker and fun. So I was in scrap and hoard in the stream one day, and I was texting and everything, and I started to do what you guys do, and you just do the abbreviation, S-H-T-F. Yep. Well, I did DHTF. He says, I don't know who that is. And I'm like, oh, man, because I was on the tablet. And I'm like, okay, he needs to be le legit. <laughs> and I just, I was like, man, fat fingers, tablet fingers. So, yeah. Sorry. Scrap so, that yeah, was Mr. Roman, this is a 1975 Calgary, and it is uh, clad. And it, sorry, this one is sold. Do scrap and tinker in treasures and stuff. <laughs> actually tinkering and fun so thank you scrapping congratulations congratulations scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. 
And there's a nick. Ah, oh, now I know how to remember that initially. Okay. Yeah, Lot like, one. Who hits the fan? Who hits the fan? Who? Tinkering hits the fan. Who? Who? Tell me who. Uh, Are not you? Not who. Who? 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 Alrighty. Lot number two. Lot number two. Congratulations and thank you very much. What I have up next do you is know a. How to make dill bread? Yes, I do. I make dill bread. I haven't in a while, but yes, I do. Well, there you go. This At says least I a... do. Mm -hmm. Now, before anybody bids on, you know what? I'm going to show the reverse of this first. But this is a 1937. This is a New Zealand one florin, and it has a scratch on the reverse right on the head. <laughs> I heard you say florin. This is silver. <laughs> I believe this is. Oh gosh, I should have looked. Let me see if I can. Well, I don't remember the silver content. Yeah, Alex on this at one. nine. I have Alex at nine. Um, you don't know the silver content. I can't remember. And take me an act of Congress to find everything. Oh, well, uh, so I want to say it's nine hundred. We got hidden at ten. Thank you, hidden. Hidden. What is the silver content on this? Please. Yeah, you might know. Oh, he knows. And Alex. Oh, what was that? Make it lady. Okay, take care, uh, Scrapping. Take care. Thank you for your bid, and uh, we'll get your package out to you uh, Monday. Monday. So we have hidden at ten. It's a kiwi bird. Who's there? Scrapping. Okay. Hey, Scrapping. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> it matches a scratch on your head. Ha <laughs> ha! Dang. There's man. Megan Briley coming in at eleven. Thank you, Megan. Oz is on a roll and he's rolling or there's something rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Alex is out. Thank you, Alex. We appreciate that. So we have Megan. Oz is just a rolling in his belly. Nineteen thirty seven, New Zealand, one florin. Okay, we're looking for twelve. Megan's got this one in eleven. New Zealand. 1937. It hey, Joe, be... it's been a tough life. Oh, 925. <laughs> right on, Inkman. Hi, Ho. I thinks it's 925. Okay. Okay. I thought Let's it was 900, but yeah. No. Okay, so we have <laughs> well, Steel Horses Clinton. says 50%. Mr. Roman says 50%. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, guys. So we're going. Once at eleven dollars to Megan. Thank you guys for that info there. Right Clinton, on, Alex. I have a wrench, Clinton. Yes, and she knows how to use it. Hidden is at twelve. Thank you, Hidden. Okay, okay. Donna Mac. Take care, Donna Mac. It was great to see Thank you. Thank you for popping in. No worries, Pi Ho. Nineteen thirty-five New Zealand Florin coin. It's made of 0.500 silver. Right, I said all that already. Oh, so somebody. but this is a thirty-seven. But it doesn't Specific matter. Composition. I, oh. I think it's 500 you did. Now that you guys said that, I was thinking 900. But <laughs> You're not an angel. You're a troublemaker, Clinton. You had to get your brain cleaned out. Megan said 13. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> you need a scrubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roman and Steel Horses, thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. Definitely. Scrub your brain. Take it out of the gutter and put it in the dishwater. I wish I could take my brain out and scrub it sometimes. But if it no. was Aussie, it would be 92.5. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hello, Florida Lena, my girlfriend. Well, hello, Flor. You're fine, Florida Lena. Oh, oh goodness. Really? You just finished? Wow. I hope you and Robert are doing well. I hope they're well, Miss uh, Madam Sue and Oh, thank you, sir. I yep, fifty percent silver on this one. Yeah, Clint Trouble Macron. Uh, uh, thank you, Majestic. Hello, buddy. How are you? Eleven point thirty-one grams, fifty percent silver, Joe. According to Majestic, he must yep. have looked it up. So we have four correct answers tonight. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no scrubbing. My brain might lose something important. Oz is well, her down. We're kind of thinking that might be the same for Clint, so maybe we should just, you know. I don't going know. once, going, going twice. Going twice. Fair warning. 
fair warning. Fair, fair warning. warning. And we are wait for it. Cheap New Zealanders. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Heidi. Sold to Megan. Congratulations, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Congrats. Thank you, Bitters. For thirteen dollars. That will go to you, ma'am. Awesome sauce. Very, very, very cool. Thank you, Diane. Yep. You need a brain to be able to clean it well. That's true, Clinton. You're talking to me? No. I know. No. Next up, for your bidding pleasure, oh, yes. We have not a bag, but a 1945 oh Denver. Uh, Ten centavos. This is a U.S. Philippine issue. Sherry so, comes in at five. And five dollars is the opening bid on this. This is a BU coin. And it has a little bit of toning on the reverse. Just, nope. Yep. Just starting. Nope. Yep. Which is it? Just a very hint of it there by United States. So 1945 Denver. Majestic comes in at ten dollars. He's really in the market for one of these bad boys yes well, all right jessica 10. all right maybe we're going to take it out of there alex is out thank Thanks, you alex. alex we're going to look at her in all of her glory all of her glory there we go we'll just ease on into it ease on down ease on down the road come on <clears throat> okay, now if I can just turn it. There we go. 1945. There's your D mark right there to the west of the date. Oh, I'm going to have to get out my autofocuser, oh. apparently. Autofocus. It's about the size of a U.S. dime. Oh, not that one. Oh, too small. I don't know if this is going to help at all. To the bat scope. No. Nope. Actually, no, it won't help because to the cover up. we're already on it. <laughs> I just want to show the pretty little lady. Well, I'm right here, honey. Just. Yeah, I know you are, but the other one. <laughs> I think Miss Bell said that that was her. She modeled for this coin. I think you're right. That was her. You're kind of shaking. So we have... Maybe that's why. Oh, my goodness, honey. No, it is not why. I've been trying to get it to focus even when it was sitting down. So unless the whole house is shaking along with the slab down here in the basement, it's not that. Majestic is spending his pennies, Alex says. So anyway, that's what we have. 1945 Denver. This is a 10 centavos U.S. Philippine issue. So what does that mean? It means it was a Philippine coin minted in the United States of America for the country of the Philippines. Nobody's showing off your tatas. Is that right, Majestic? There we go. That's funny. It's a country you were, she was born in, Florida Lena says. That's right. No, I was just giving you a hard time because yesterday you had said you modeled for the... Actually, it was the 10 centavos that you guys were selling as well. Yeah. But yes, Miss Bell was born in the Philippines. Sharp-looking set of tatas. <laughs> <laughs> By her boy. And this coin is going twice. so dang shiny that it does not want to focus worth the darn. Well, that means it's good. It's a good coin. It's shiny. And Terry comes in at $11. Thank you, Terry. And Mr. Roman comes in at 12 <laughs> Majestic's tongue is hanging out. Looking for 13 Majestic. He says, okay, 13 it is. <laughs> oh Wilson. I just read your text. That's Joe, funny. do not look at your phone. <laughs> I just did. That is freaking funny. Uh, and I will not repeat that. You are going back to the Philippines. You love the design in reverse. Oh. Right on. Oh, to get some more coins. I'd like to flip it one more time, but I don't want to touch it. It's focused right now. Terry says he's out. Thank you, Terry. So we have Majestic at $13. What to do? What say you, Mr. Roman? You got to bid this coin to win it anyway. We're looking for 14, Mr. Roman. 
What will we do? What will you do? What will you do? If we're all in on done, we're calling her down. Yes. So last call. Last call. I'd like to flip. Well, we know. Going once. Flip over that fence, buddy. <laughs> Go get your candy bars out of that pool. Going once. They dissolved their Babe Ruth's. <laughs> Chlorine and Babe Ruth's just chocolate don't. water. <laughs> Yuck. That's disgusting. It is disgusting if you choked on it and be flavored instead of chlorinated. Okay, too but much I'm information. Bad and old, so it would probably be a flop. Well, it's a nice BU, she said. Well, it's sold to Miss Majestic for $13. Congratulations, yeah. Congrats, Majestic. Majestic. $13 to Mr. Majestic. You bet that is a nice one, Floor, and I, I'm uh, ninety-eight percent positive I bought this from you and Robert. So, ninety-eight percent positive. Yeah. But just don't remember for sure. I don't have a tag on it, so I can't be a hundred percent positive. Oh. Congratulations, Majestic. Thank you, brother. Understand. Oh, that census taker. Sorry, Mr. Roman. That's a pain in the behind. You know, you can do that online. Well, not when they come to your door. I just don't answer. I said, go away. I got to go. I got, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Or? You have the next item up already. I do. And that was majestic. Yep, 13. on top of it. I'm actually focused today. Sweet. Yeah, I don't have a stress getting in my face. Sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. How many illegal aliens just visiting? <laughs> All right, lot number four. Here's what we have up. Oh, from the wonderful land of the maple leaves. Of course, who am I talking about? This is a Canana Nerds. And what we have in here. And look at how beautiful those are. I want you guys to focus now. We have the Polar Bear 1980. That is a silver dollar. This is the double dollar set. Then you have the rest are clad. You have the quarter, half dollar, cent, nickel, dime, and then the standard issue canoe dollar which is clad but that one right there is a beauty i'll show you the queenie and it comes in this deluxe case of a leatherette case from canada so the polar bear is uh 50 silver the rest are nickel other than the scent is bronze Come on now. Okay. I have the, there we go. So there's your 50% silver polar bear. It's got the northern lights in the background. We are right at 20. And after Alex came in at 19. We have the coat of arms, 50 cent piece. The caribou on the quarter. The maple leaf <laughs> scent. The beaver nickel. The boat, sailboat, dime, and then the canoe. With the northern lights. <laughs> well, hello, happy Paul Hampton. It's great to see you, my friend. And Clint says, oh, no, I see them. I see the beard of power. That's right. We just, <laughs> right here, it's hard to hard to miss it. So Alice came at 21. Uh, Redneck comes in at 20. 25 leers? No, no. <laughs> just kidding, Red. Sorry about that. <laughs> Paul Hampton, greetings. We missed you earlier this afternoon. We didn't miss him. We do not, Hidden. Sorry, my friend. We had one, but happy Paul Hampton. Did you really miss him, it. Roman? Hello, Terry Hunt. How are you, sir? So what we have up here is the 1980 Canada Double Dollar um, Mint Set. And this is uh, the only set available which contains both the 80 and silver and nickel dollars this commemorates the uh the cemetery of the transfer from england to the dominion of canada so we're like we're 27 after alice came in at 26. But anyway that's some of the pertinent information pertinent information red are you still here so um i'm gonna set this just like that. Redneck says, Oz, we need to talk in private. <laughs> LOL. 27. Thank you, Oz. In other words, 
Just be patient, redneck. Don't forget we have the lovely Queen Elizabeth on the reverse of all of those. And this lovely... You surrender faster than the French, Oz? Wow. Alex comes in at 28. Oz, you're French? Faster than the French. I'm kidding. He's faster than the French. All right, that's just... There we go. That's a little better. So that's a little different. Thank you guys for the bids. Did you just ask oh. how tall someone is, Joe? Nope. Is there a size limit for the chair? <laughs> do I need to grow? Do I need to shrink? Oh, man, what can I do? Mm. Sit there in the corner. I give up. <laughs> if Paul was in, I would have never got it anyway, says Hidden. Oh, maybe he would have. It took a while for anybody to get in. We thought maybe you, I knew you were working. You had a client this afternoon and I didn't realize that was up. <laughs> 29 says red and you're showing his girlfriend off quit. Uh, quit not yet um buyers i have three fish scales i think up tonight and you have not missed any of them we are on lot number three actually we're on lot number four oh, okay we're on lot number four I so stand. we haven't missed much we just got started we had to start late because you know we got the time zone all messed up in our heads today well we already started on time it's just the timer was off by an hour so when I saw Time it, zone. I redid it. Alex is out. Thank you, Alex. We have red neck stacker at $29. Are we all in? Oz is calling her down. Awesome. Uh, hidden. I'll take care of you, brother. You know that. I hope your uh, jobs went well today. Right on, buyer. And we're going twice. That ship is about to sail. All Fair right. Fair warning. Congratulations. That set is going back to Canada. Thank you, Mama Lou. Congratulations, Red Nick. Oh, you're doing Stuck well, up. Mama Lou. It's great to see you. Mama Lou is here in the house. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And we got this for how much? Twenty-nine dollars. Twenty-nine to red. I'm sorry to hear that uh, hidden, but I'm glad that it was a productive day. Twenty-nine to red. Thank you, red. That's a beautiful set and going to you, red. Thank you all for your mm -hmm. bids. Next up, we have the first fish scale of the night, so to speak. Ooh. Fish scale. Fish scale. Now this is going to be an education. Fish scales is the silver Canada five cent coin. However, so this is a 1912. Now I don't know what that uh, that dark and light spot is all about. If they had something in a book over it or what, but there's no goo on the coin. It's just got that toning top and bottom. Let me flip it over and I'll go show you the king. <clears throat> there's King George. What is it? King George the Fifth. Well, Mr. Roman comes in at eight and Bar Boys at nine. Hidden was in between at seven. Thank well, you. Guys. Behind there it's seven, eight, nine, Mr. Roman at eleven. There you are. So there is the lovely and talented King George in all his glory. In all his glory. Kings, Georgie, Porgy, put in pie. And we'll go back. Speaking of George. Oh, it's upside down. I forgot we're in Canada. There we go. Believe me, everyone, I will get in the groove here. Haven't seen our George Kimball lately. Hope well, he's all well. I'm sure he's doing fine. He's a busy man. Thank you, Alex is out. All this week we have well. They weren't on yesterday, so that might be why. Cool. Uh, Clinton, I'd like to see that. No. Oz, I'd like to see that. Ah. Thank you, Clinton. See you when we get Take to Take care, him. Clinton. I'm reading messages. I'm getting confused. They call it a fish scale because of the how small the thing <laughs> is. 
uh, Megan. Um, let me find a. You know, Megan, I asked Joe the same thing. I said, why do they call it fish scale? It's because of the size of the coin. And it's so thin. It is very thin, and it is also um, 900 silver. 900 silver. 90% oh. silver. Due to the thickness being as thin as a fish scale, Megan, Briley says, hit it. <coughs> there is a U.S. dime. Okay, thank you, Hidden. I've read different things about that, but that works for me. Thank you for the info. So anyway, that's a U.S. dime versus the size of that fish scale. <laughs> RC Pops made it. Hey, RC Pops. Woohoo! Thanks for coming, RC Pops. Good for you. Look at that. Oh, you can see that it was a lot smaller, but look at you can even see how much thinner it is. I mean, it is really, really thin. Sweet, uh, very sweet, Cheryl. But yet it doesn't bend. Right. Which is blows my mind. Sold to Mr. Roman. Congratulations, Mr. Whoop, Roman. Whoop. For eleven dollars. Yep, Mr. Roman. The same size as a trime, pretty much. And about the same thickness. Yep. What do you mean, yep? Do you even know what a trine is? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm just in an agreeable mood right now. Be nice. Well. Use your brain. <laughs> I'll show you one sometime. Remind me. Mr. Roman. Let me find a marker. For $11. Wait. What lot is that? Five. Five. Congrats, Mr. Roman. Thank you all for your bids. Thank you, guys, for your bids. You guys ready for the next one? Good evening, AZ. How are you? Hello, doing? AZ. Now this next one. We're going to go to Australia now. Austria. Seats. Austria. Different country. Austria. Sorry. Austria. I'm going to pull this out of this sleeve because it is not very pretty. Now this, I did not, not look up pretty. the silver content on these, but I do believe... I do believe, I don't know what I believe. Let me show you what we got here. We got a 25 shilling. You are back? You're sorry you're back? I'm sorry you're back. Too, 50 then, shilling. <laughs> Redneck. There's your 10 shilling. Uh, you have the 5 shilling and the 1 shilling. We have hidden at 20 and Alex at 21. Then we have the uh, 2 groschen, 5 groschen, 10 groschen, and 50 groschen. I'll flip these over. And Hayden's back at 22. There's the Republic. Austria. And it has the coat of arms there, as well as that one, the 50 shilling, and the 25 shilling. Well, shillings and groschens. Grossen. Gross. Gross. So that is what we have. Thank you guys for the bids. Oh, no worries, Red. No worries. We got Alex at 23. Um, you want me to post oh, it? You're good. Did somebody need to post it? Oh, you posted it. It's all good. Thank you, Red. So Redneck's going to bid it at 25. Hidden comes back at 26. So we're looking for 27. That is what we're doing. We're looking, and so, Alex is out. Thank, thank you, you Alex. Alex, for your bid. Now, Hayden and Redneck are at it. Hayden's at 26. What to do, Redneck? It's up to you, Redneck. What will you do? It's just up to you. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we have Hidden at $26. Are we all in on this? Thank you guys for your bids, Alex, Red, Hidden, everyone that was in. We appreciate the bids. There we go. Try Absolutely. Going twice. Fair warning. And Fair warning. It does come in this protective Sold. Stay hidden. So you can see why I took it out of there, I hope. Congratulations, Hidden. For $26, Hidden. Thank you. Very nice, buddy. And thank you, Bitters. Let me get these back. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, nice. everybody, for coming in. This is great. Nice pickup, Hidden. You're going to like them, I'm sure. Of this course, is a double hitter tonight of the day. The fall extravaganza. I want to call it a marathon because it's feeling like right. a marathon. 
Now tomorrow evening, not to. Is there some I keep coin in there? Huh. Thank you. Nice. And hidden. That's cool. I did not know that. I'm not much on foreign. But some. Very good. Canada. Very good. Oh, thanks, Floor. Hidden. But yes, tomorrow coin ops auction. All yes. original bank wrap rolls tomorrow. Oh. Keep that in mind, everybody. Nickels, dimes, quarters. I don't know what all, but I know there's dimes, nickels, pennies, quarters. <laughs> Generally, what our bank wrap roll would be about. Original bank wrap roll. What did that last one go for? 29 to hidden? 26. 26. I believe, yes. All right, next up is 1985 Canada. Uncirculated set. Canon nerds again. We're going back to Canada. Now, this Canada, one. Austria to Canada. Is in this lovely silver toned cardboard. And it says 85 uncirculated Canada set. And we open her up. What is inside? But pertinent information. Very pertinent. But so, see rig at 10. As you can see, none of these are silver. We have bronze, copper, yep. nickel, 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 and nickel. Floor, and then Sorry. roll of fever. Roll fever. Roll fever. Let me turn this over like this. Oh, look at that. Tells you everything that's in there. <clears throat> what it's made out of, how much it weighs, all the good stuff. So first off is the Canada dollar, not silver, but it is a dollar nonetheless. Then we have the quarter, come on, nickel, I'll say the 12. half dollar with the coat of arms, the cent, and the dime. And then you get the holder that you can put all of your coins in as well, all packed in this lovely silver tone box. Right from Canada. 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 <laughs> oh, Canada, says Floor. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me sing that, Floor. Hidden, what type of currency do you use on the moon? Just trying to learn new things. <laughs> Very good, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the dollar. Oh, you caught a following, Hidden. And there's lovely Lizzie and all of her shining beauty. Shining beauty. Mm. That's the uh, Voyagers with the northern lights in the background. That is cool looking. I think that is the coolest design, the way they did that. So, so we're going yeah. twice looking for 13. Alex has got it at 12. Way to go, Alex. <laughs> Majestic. That's yes, right, you majestic. do sing too. Right there, <laughs> Absolutely, see. Floor. Going twice. That's a legendary beaver right there, 1985. Fair warning. Fair warning. Alex, fair warning. Don't you know it's sold to you? Congratulations, Congratulations Alex. Alex. That is going to come to you, my For $12. Friend. Thank you, Alex. Congratulations. Thank you, bidders. Do we have bidders? Yeah, surely we did. Yeah, hidden, wasn't he? I don't remember, but yeah, because Alex outbid himself. Oh, Sirig, no. Sirig was the other? Yeah. Congrats, Alex. Thank you, Sirig. And everyone, what was that sold for? $12, sir. 12 to Alex. Yep, yep, yep. Sweet. All right. Next up is kind of an interesting one. Now we're going to go to the Vatican. Are you guys ready? We're going to go visit the Vatican. Now, this is 83.5% silver. This is Good. a 500 lire. And there was 2 million of these uh, minted. Okay, and we are opening this up at $15. This has some cool toning on it. So there's that. Now, this is all covered in, like, a plastic covering. So that it's not... This is the way they came, I, I guess. But there is the reverse, I believe, with that dove in the sun. Cool design. Oh, and Alex, I think I'm going to have to ship to you Monday, so I'll let you know and get that figured out for you. So I'm going to take my okay. little... But I think you already paid for that. I don't know. Anyway, Alex is at 16. 
after Majeski comes in at 15. He came back at 17. Bigfoot is coming in at 18. There's Bigfoot. We are traveling around the world, floor. That's traveling right. Traveling around the world today. This is as close as I can get to traveling around the world, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and if any of you want to try this, these are little out of uh, air tights. What I'm using here for the autofocus. Yeah. Instead Lord of Helena, tell Robert this. Instead of this one that was cut, and everybody likes to hassle me, Wilson, about the circle. Well, these are airtight. Are perfect circles. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have next. And I don't know where we're at on this, but this is eighty-three point five percent silver. This is uh, eighty-three point five silver, Megan. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, it's two million minted, nineteen sixty-three five hundred lire. Now, Florida Lena is the world coin. Yes, she is. Genius. Guru. Yeah, she knows world coin. So we're going once. It's good to see it, Bigfoot. Bigfoot's holding this strong at 18. Looking for 19. I don't know uh, if that helped. Yeah. Fair warning. Okay, Mr. Bell. Huh? Megan comes in at 19. Okay, what? Florida. Hmm? Florida Lena says, okay, Mr. Bell. Okay. Okay, um. Yes, Bell. you did, Fred. I'm sorry. So Megan is in at, at uh, 19. You know, you only missed the first Philippine coin. Sorry, Fred. No, I understand, Alex, but I don't remember if I put that shipping on that one or not. I'm going to have to go back and look. If not, we can add it on this one is what I was getting at because we're, we're ready to ship. We got stuff that came in. Yeah, we got a bunch of packages yeah. this week for you. So. And it's pretty full now, so we're going to have to go ahead and send it. It's going to be a heavy box, my friend. <laughs> what is that, a tree? No. no. It is an umbrella. With all the little things that hang down, the tassels. Let me show it again. I don't. Majestic. That's some kind of a. Some kind of a yeah. I don't know what you call that. It's not a tree though. Vatican they have their coat like of Vatican arms. City? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right on, Alex. And they have these. They get some really cool toning because of the red, in here. And uh, yeah, Oz, speed up, Oz, slow down, Oz. Which way do I go? Which way is the beach? <laughs> Where's the beach? Redneck is at twenty. Thank you, Red. That is very cool. Well, we have another one coming up later in the auction. Nice. That has a much lower mintage than this one. I believe it's a nineteen fifty-eight. He said, "Okay, Oz, you're good." <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Know. I don't know about you, Oz, but you know what? Okay. He's like, okay, bro. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. I just want to give peace. I'm just trying to function. Here. I was just smiling, we. That's right. Smile and <laughs> <wave>. <laughs> yeah. oh. Fred Garza says it's a Florida palm. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't know they had them in Vatican City, but I don't think you may be right, Fred. <laughs> Megan says she's out. <laughs> Florida oh, Paul. oh my my oh yeah it was majestic who asked if it was a tree <laughs> real smart and witty there fred carson going twice uh, fair warning fair warning this is coming to redneck for twenty dollars fair warning hidden is in the house but i think he's working and tired and doing this thing sold to redneck for twenty dollars thank you congrats red thank you sir hey red he sold it. He says, sell it, Oz, and it's already <laughs> sold. Ah, 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 ah. Thanks, Red. That's going to come to you, buddy. Congratulations. I've laughed more on this stream than I have all week. <laughs> Y'all might be nuts. Well, good. You needed it. See? That's awesome, Red. If you're all laughing. Right. I'm Oz. This is good, Oz. You needed it. Congratulations, Red. Thank you for your bids, bidders. All right. For twenty dollars, right? Is yes, that what you said? Yes, ma'am. All right, just making sure I didn't mess up my numbers, because you know, no, oh, ma'am, I got distracted. Next up, I have the nineteen. Uh, well, I'll show you the box first. There Where we are we go. going now? Nineteen seventy-eight. We're going back to Canada. We're back oh, up. 
North. Fly back and forth a lot. I know. This is uh, Edmonton, Commonwealth of Edmonton. You're welcome, the Red. Um, games. So you have the little logo for all the different games, and of course you have. Ooh, Tiffany. we're gonna go to the Olympics. Now this. This has some toning starting on the reverse. And this is five dollars to open. This is clad, not silver. And let me see if I can get this straight. If I touch the thing and straighten it, I'm going to get heck from red. So, mm -hmm. Alexander Smith is at six dollars. Thank you, Alex. So, Commonwealth of Edmonton, 1978, and uh, this is for the. Is that the Commonwealth <laughs> Games oh, or? Man. Started the day off spilling coffee on my mouse and keyboard on my grandpa's computer. So yeah, I remember that Oz. That's Wait, a heck of a start. That was awful start. Not to mention the white carpeting. Oof. Which I think it was. Who was it? Has a cleaning company. Uh, was it that Steel was Horse or Terry? One of them. Steel Horse. Said, Steel Horse. Uh, to use. What did he say again? Vinegar. I said vinegar. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yep. 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 Trying to get super duper hot, super duper Brian Hooper. <laughs> this, I'm really struggling over here with this camera. Is it the lighting? Yes, I need to invest in some lights for this outfit. No, that's not going to help me. Well, go ahead, leave it. Does it make any difference? I don't know. Yes, it is, Alex. These are all very collectible. I don't know if that helped or hindered or anything. So we all in at six dollars. No, I don't remind me about the carpet. Sorry, buddy. Now what? A lot lemon of the, juice. Lemon juice. What you might, you get the red fuzzies, the red felt off of these boxes, and they stick on the coin. So that's a lot of that's just that. But I don't want to rub on it. So go in toys. I can see the red fuzzies. You couldn't live with my uh, my parents didn't. I don't I don't know. Sold to Alex for six dollars. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Congratulations. Congrats, buddy. Six dollars to Alex. Oh, wonderful. Now let's go to Norway. There you go on. Should we go to Norway? I like Norway, I think. I think I like Norway, too. Let's go visit the Norwegians. Them, Nor Nor Nords. And here is the 1986 Norway proof set. Yes, Cheryl. I couldn't live in white carpet either. Nope. Now, these are all clad, I do believe. This case is kind of scuffed up, as you can see. But the coins are all encased. Alex comes in at part two. And in nice shape. So, I don't know what all these denominations are, but we'll look at them together. Now, look at this one. Very cool. Agreed, oh. Majestic. You guys can't see the Tony now. Formal that. to where people hardly ever go in there. Isn't it 14? Now that 10. And never with kids. <laughs> that 10, sorry. I don't know. This this 10, whatever that is right there, has got very nice toning on it. Alex at 15. And uh, <laughs> what is it? I do not know. Oh, there's a double faced coin. Yeah. That's cool. You say Norway has double faces? Interesting. Kind of like those fins. Oh, no fins in the way. This is from the <laughs> Den Klogelmin and Mint. I don't have a dog to blame things on. Right on, Cheryl. So I don't know who these guys are, but. And they look like they got rocks and picks and so they must be miners or masoners mm, that's interesting 
We don't right now either. Who's that guy? Is that King somebody? I have no idea. I do not know anything about Norway corns. I just get the stuff sometimes. So are we all in now done? We got Alex at 15 looking for 16. I know it's a Norway proof set from the that mint right there. Then I don't know. Where's the gear when They're we need blacksmiths, it? They're blacksmiths, he said. Yes, blacksmiths they are. Okay. Thank you, Red. Going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. It's the Den Klonenagjig. There you can see some of the toning if I lay it down flat. Oh, well. He's out. That's, yeah, king of so someone. So Alex. Thank he you, called. Alex. Thank you, uh, blah, 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 hidden, of course. For your bids. Thank you, thank you. King somebody, I think I know him. <laughs> Oz. Do you know him, Oz? Huh. So Hi. I sold to Alex for 15 Thank you, guys. Congrats, Alex. Thank you, guys, for your bids, hidden. For $15. Yeah. Well, these, these sets are kind of hard to show. But we're getting through. I just get slapped behind the head from my wife and ask why she tells me we don't play spirit. <laughs> That's funny. Now, back to Canada. Yes, back to Canada. This is another double dollar set. There's your uh, lovely maple leaf in this lovely leatherette set. Oh, hang on. Now, enclosed in this set, we will have, this is the double dollar, and you're going to get the bison, 50% silver dollar, and the rest of the coins are clad. So I'm going to show them to you right now. So that's a bison skull, apparently, and that is 50% silver. Of course, you have the clad voyagers canoe. We're going to have to ship red. The uh, nickel, the lovely legendary beaver nickel that has some toning going on. Your dime, cent, half dollar, caribou quarter. Yes. Red, we're going to have to send a package. They smell like ready. maple syrup. Do they? Oh. I agree which way. Alex and 19, looking for 20. And this was inspected by number 20. No, number 19. So you guys know it's all legit right here inspected verify par number 19 and so we have any other interest to this oz is calling her down if we don't we're at uh, 19 looking for 20. 19 look for 20. All in all done. We'll call her down. I like that one on top. That one? Canada, Canada, Canada dollar. Yep. That's a cool design. Right on. It is. I have some more of them. I'll give you one if you want. Hey, Dragonfly lady. Good Hello, to see you. Hello, Dragonfly lady. Inspected by who? Number 19. No. <laughs> Number 19. Right. It's right here. <laughs> Twenty to par Canada. Oz said I had to bid. Ah. <laughs> he did, did he, Red? <laughs> so we have Oz like at boat. twenty dollars. We have Red at twenty dollars. Excuse me. And the beaver. What about the beaver? Down on the bottom. That's said, where like they him. usually are. I like them. You know they swim. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, All I right. was coming back at 21. I'll just shut up now. Go back to my corner. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's time for your corner. <laughs> Terry Knopfsinger. Wally Helen and Shirley and Cheryl Busman. <laughs> 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 yes, we had stories of Wally, Shirley, and, Sh and uh, Helen today. Oh, that is funny. That was hilarious. That was really cool, though. Right. We found a history of a family of, eight, of coins that somebody collected. Pretty they awesome. Gave them he was at gifts. 22. Yeah, they gave away. That was really cool if you were in that Christmas, one. You got my it. lovely daughter. Mm hmm. 
We have hidden at 22. You guys are going to have to go back and look at that stream from earlier today. That was pretty cool. Something in the water tonight. Yeah, it might be the coffee. <laughs> oh, you're drinking water tonight. Uh, I hopefully see. it's not the vodka. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. We had a blast. Bourbon. <laughs> and that was funny. It was. We got a whole story of a family just by birthdays, anniversaries, and All Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah. Between and the who was sending and to who and my lovely daughter and who was the kids and who was the parents. That was pretty cool. Right on. The Buckler family. The Buckler that's family, that's right. I'm going to have to look it up and see if they're in the local area here. Since the coins came from the local area, You're right? But maybe not. Who knows? Maybe we don't want to know. I gotta maybe. run, guys. I'm... Okay, sweet redneck. Thank you for hanging out, brother. We appreciate you. Catch you later on. Okay, thank you, Red. Thanks for your help. Appreciate your help. Yes, definitely. Let's so to hidden numismatist for twenty five dollars. I'm gonna put this or twenty two dollars. Excuse me. Congratulations, hidden, and don't forget, redneck, R. N. Sacker. Yeah. He's got his mold, his uh, pouring auction Sunday at 5.30 Eastern. Don't forget. That's right. You're going to want to check out all them goodies. They got some new stuff this month. There we go. We got her back together for you hitting that little metal clips. Very cool. And make sure Congratulations, you keep your... Very cool. Now, seeing as we're up in Canada and we don't have any frequent flyer miles left. Oh, before we get started on the next lot, Red, can you put up your auction thing or do you want me to do it? I can do it too. That's right. Way. Hey, Decone, how are you? I know. That hidden, he's only five years old. <laughs> he's 24 and have no fear. Decone is here. What happened? What happened indeed? And that was 22 to hidden? Uh, yes. Very cool. Thank you, Red. Thanks, Red. See you when we get to, hopefully, tonight. Thank you, Hidden. Yep, $22 to Hidden Numismatist. Yes, congratulations. Next up, we're sticking with Canada, like I said, because we're already here. Oh, we're still in Canada? Yes, Groovy. and what we have up here in Canada this time is... Ooh, silver. 50% silver. Mm -hmm. And this is the 100th anniversary of the National Parks of Canada, and it depicts a moose standing in a pond. Alex at 10. And yes, a moose is standing the, in a pond. Look at that lovely proof oh. cameo moose in the pond. I want. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Fred Carson. That's there you How go. How this Fred. works here is you have to bid. Oh, he knows. <laughs> He's just throwing that out there, little feelers. Just letting y'all know. So be nice, he said. Right. <laughs> oh, I love you, Fred. <laughs> Well, at least we and don't we have that from, two Freds at a pizza right now. That was funny earlier. That's right. The lovely and talented Fred Carson. Lovely and talented. Lovely and talented. Lovely and talented. So, Hidden comes in 11 and Fred at 11 right behind him. But we're looking for 12, Fred. All right, Diane. I'm going to let you sell the moose. I'll Want me right to back. sell the moose, do you? Sell the moose. The National Parks of 1885 to 1985. Parks Nationic. $1. What is that? Is that commemorative? It's a double dollar set. No. No. Double dollar set. We just sold. Oh, we just sold that. Never mind. It's 50% silver. It's a Canadian silver. We got, ooh, we got Megan at 14. After Hidden came in at 13, Hidden come back at 15. It is a nice looking coin, Cheryl. Absolutely. And the moose is walking in the water looking for fish. No, no they don't eat fish. They eat ooh. algae. <laughs> They're vegetarians <laughs> well you got a bit higher because other people bid above you there Fred Carson comes in at 16 just letting you know hidden <laughs> you flip it uh, or do you have to take it out of course I can flip it oh we're gonna sorry. see the lovely and talented oh it's just a woman Queenie well it's on the reverse of every the bids, yeah, this is the obverse well because there's Queenie. Looks like there's a little fly speck by the bee. What? Hidden? Is that 18? Of course he is. Of course he is. Yes, we see the bids, and yet I'm talking like Mr. Lawson does, or Florida Lena, 
when we have to do the auction. Yeah. So hidden. Thank you for your bid. 18. Elizabeth II. That's right. Interesting. See? Not to be confused with the first. <laughs> Bigfoot. A fishing moose. <laughs> Right. It's bear that looks for fish in the water. Right. <laughs> Fred do, Carson's out. They do however eat roots and stuff. So. They eat the roots? Yes. And they drink the water. I don't know. I don't drink Probably the water. Probably walking in there stay cool because they're such big, huge things. Um, creatures. I'm not going to argue Megan comes you. in at 19. Oh, come I'm trying on. Trying to put a visual picture of a story. Please, honey. I was. Please. <laughs> please please okay so here's this moose he's walking no not that the... story <laughs> that was very that's <laughs> thank you uh fox run thank you very much buddy thank you fox run on my way moose in minnesota fish <laughs> <laughs> canadian moose drink moosens <laughs> Oh, okay. Bullwinkle it, Canadian comes Greece oh, moose that drink be so cool to see a moose, moose come in your backyard all the time. That's cool. That would be awesome. Cancel my bid at 19 and give it to Hidden. Okay, so we have Hidden at, what, 18 then? Thank you, Megan. Megan's at 19. She, did you not just listen to what I said? Cancel my bid. Okay. So she retracted her bid. So Hidden is at... 18. Okay. Go up there and delete your, if you can, if you know how. She says no. He said no. My Megan at 19. Well, That's she, funny, Decon. She's going to change her mind, Hidden. Uh, uh. So, I don't know. Well, if nobody wants it, I'll just keep it, I guess. Who, who's going to take it? He says Megan Bradley with high bid at 19. In other words, he wants to be fair. I think she's retracting. Honestly, hitting, I think she made a decision. <laughs> Stevie Wonder don't want uh -huh. <laughs> Fred Carson. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So we're going once. We're not we're going, going anywhere until we figure out who or where it's going. We're going once, twice. I will take it at 19, says okay, Megan. You, okay, Megan. Megan does have it at 19. Thank you, Hidden. And Hidden says, I want Megan to have it. Megan, you're awesome. Hidden, you're awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, I know. And these gals. people who confuse us so much. It's just, oh, it's sold to Megan, though. Congratulations, Megan. Congrats, Megan. Thank For you, ma'am. For $19. There's your pertinent information. Awesome. And I will get this packed up for you, and that will go in your package. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Hidden and Fred. And that is lot 12. Megan. Very kind, very good. There you are. It's fine. Sweetly. Just seemed Hidden wanted it more than me. Oh, no, no, no. It's all good. It's probably that he had a limit and then it went past his limit. So he went out. No worries, Megan. So now we're going to go Hush, to the United Mr. Kingdom. Carson. No, we are not. We are going back. Yes, we are. We're going to the United Kingdom. Oh, I see what I did. The big box I had over there. Oh. Oh, this is a nice one. All right. Okay. This is big. It's going to take me a second here. It's big. <laughs> Honey, that was just not right. <laughs> So, yeah, we have the D97, which means 97 Great Britain. And inside that big box is all of your pertinent information. This is Join the Royal Mint Coin Club. And this is a 1997 United Kingdom Proof Collection Certificate of Authenticity. A maximum of 100,000 proof coins have been authorized for worldwide distribution in these sets. All right, now let's see what we have. Oh, 
I gotta go this way. Now I'm gonna take this is the lovely box that it comes in, and I'm gonna show you. You have the one pound, the bimetal two pound, which is very cool looking. And we have the 50 pence, the five pound, another 50 pence, one penny, 10 pence, 20 pence, five pence, and two pence. And this is $30 to open, and I'm going to flip that over. <coughs> hey, Eloisa's here. Hello, Eloisa. So we have Philip and the princess. The princess. But anyway, the reverse of all these coins. Pro tray. We're in the United Kingdom, Eloisa. Hanging out with the princess and the king and the queen, it looks like. No, that's still Prince. Philip. Princeps. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, I can't see hidden. He must be hiding from the cold. So some of these have cool toning. It's maybe not even toning. It's just the bimetal and the cameo they put on them. It just it has really attractive look. <laughs> and I have thirty dollars on we'll this set. <laughs> so it's uh, there's your little metal that goes up there in the set. You have again the bimetal two pound, and then that five pound coin is the. Uh, let me read it. Wow, it guys, is His is Royal Highness Prince Philip, and Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth celebrating the royal wedding. Oh wow. So that's what the this five pound coin in the middle is about, and that has the queen and and you know the camera just Prince really Philip. does not do that set justice. Looking at it directly in person versus on the camera, it just it just can't capture can, it is beautiful. Man. There we can see the whole set. And let me turn it. Well, I'm glad you're back, Byers. Welcome back, Byer. So opening bid of $30 for this beauty. This is United Kingdom. 1997. And if we don't have any interest, that's all right. We'll move right on. <coughs> yeah, we can move on. It's still very cool. Yes, ma'am. So come sail away. Come bid away. Come bid away with me. Yeah, it is a nice display. It actually it comes in this packaging right here and you open it up. Like it's very such. classy. Very classy. But it is my tab app now. I don't know, Mr. Roman. I don't know. You want me to do you a tentative one? Go we'll look. Him. She'll check for you, Mr. Roman. Hold on, Mr. Roman. Let me turn that. Give me around. a few. Going once. Uh oh. We can revisit this if we need. All right. Oh, it's right here. I can look real quick. Thanks, Oz. That lady is just going to drive me to ruin it. Oh, stop for a second. Is, okay. Okay. Uh, Whoop. I'm looking real quick. Hang on. Right on, Mr. Roman. We got you, buddy. Forty-one fifty-five, Mr. Roman. Total current. Forty-one fifty-five. She says. Oh, come on. Wow. Here. The other half is over there somewhere. Yeah. Just stick it over. Oh, okay. Your interest in the set? Okay. Yeah, so opening bid is 30. What do you think, Mr. Roman? And I'm going to flip her this way one more time. So show the eye. Did you get here? Okay. Already. What did it 
let's see it. Yep. You like the line on the coin? Right, Oz. Last chance of 30. That's fine. That's we, fine. We can Mr. wait, Roman. Mr. Roman, if you that's want. All good. If you want it, that's cool. We can wait on payment. Them, yeah, the five pence, I think, or ten pence it is, Oz. Yeah. It's up to you. I'll check into that, Oz. If I have one, I'll send you one. Okay. So, Mr. Roman, do you want this for 30? But he closed it. That's all right. If you want it, Mr. Roman, just let us know and, and you're good to go till next week. I'm easy. But and, not and if you don't, this one added unless you split that tab. I can pay what you have to do. Yeah, we can do that. So, you just want to hold this till next week. That's fine. Okay, let's do that. I'll put your name on it. And we won't ship it with the other stuff or just hang on to it. And if you uh, change oh. your mind or anything, you can just email us. Okay. I'll, I'll put your name on it. CD Rogan's here. Hey, CD Rogan. Congrats, right. Mr. Roman. There, I got your name on it. That will be billed for a later date. Thank you, sir. That's a nice set. And put like. on a separate tab. Yep. Gotcha, Mr. Roman. How are you this evening? Thank you, Mr. How's Roman. How's it going, You're CD awesome. Rogan? Now, thanks, Oz. All and right. I don't know, Mr. Roman, do you want to hold and ship this all at once from today? Well, thank you, Mr. Roman. Or do you want to go ahead and <sighs> ship Monday what is happening this week and that a different time? We can email them about it, but I'm going <laughs> to. Fred Carson, send Bill to Hidden. <laughs> awesome cd oh I'm glad, glad to, to hear, hear that. it wonderful okay to the philippines let's yes. go run over there we are in the philippines and this is the 1967 anniversary of baton day um, 25th anniversary it has some toning starting and it is a commemorative 100,000 of these were minted it is 900 silver they're hidden at 25. And uh, there's the reverse again. <laughs> so, again, uh, 100,000 of these were minted. This is KM number 195, if anybody wants to look it up in your, your cross book. Okay, you got it. Gotcha. Thank you, Mr. Roman. So, we have hidden at Twenty-five dollars. This is a 1967 Baton Day commemorative one peso. The Republic of the Philippines. If you love me, <laughs> well, Hidden, I love you, brother, but I don't want to buy you any coins necessarily. Is our love conditional, Hidden? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we have up. We have hidden in the lead right now. Twenty-five dollars. Do we have any other interest? We're looking for twenty-six. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking for twenty-six. Fred Carson says, "I love it." Twenty-six, mm -hmm. or maybe he loves hidden. I'm not sure. Now I'm confused. <laughs> you guys are being tricky. Mm. Tricky, tricky boys. Oh, look. Your beloved country. That's right, Florida Luna. That's right. Look at what Diane got me. A share bag. Really, Diane? Kid wasn't talking to you, Mr. Durbin. Oh, well, I'm used to that. I'm sorry. I'll shut up now. Yes, really, Joe. A share bag. Because I like to share. No, it's because that was right there and I grabbed it. So you can have candy later. Thank you. You're a sweet lady. Generally. Yes. I don't know. Oh, one kidding, once. He'll tell you. <laughs> you hush, Mr. Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> Was deep. <laughs> Point nine hundreds. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Not necessarily so, Mr. Roman. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Miss Fordlina. Point nine hundred. Yep. Point nine. Going twice. Silver. We got Fred Carson at twenty six, looking for twenty seven. Is hidden. Fair warning. Fair warning. 
Oh, and Diane's ringing Fair the bell. warning. Sold to Fred Carson for $26. Congratulations, Fred. Thank Congrats. you, bidders. Fred, thank you. I think the bidder was hidden. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, hidden. Now, this is the Fred Carson, not the Fred McGee, so don't get it mixed up. That's great. Which means I got to find the right sheet. It's no matter what anybody says, two Freds are better than one. Well, we can always have two friends and a pizza. Mm, I like pizza. <laughs> that was Fred funny. Carson. So it's twenty six dollars. Thank you, Fred, and congratulations. Next up, we are. Where are we? We're going to. Yeah, where are we going? We're going. Oh, we're back Ooh, to uh, Royal Silver Great Jubilee. Great Britain, I believe. Great Britain. This is nineteen seventy seven Royal. No, I believe this is uh, um, Great Britain, not Germany. Well, Great Britain. Oh, that would be England. Yeah. United Kingdom, Great Britain. Great Britain. It's a Silver Jubilee coin. And this is not silver, non-silver. This is nickel. And I'm going to flip it over because this is the side I like. It has that dove. Yeah, Alex had said. And all the lilies and whatever that is, the scroll work I really like on the obverse or the reverse of this. That is copper nickel. Yes, sir. That's why I said non silver. This is okay. I said nickel, I think, but copper nickel. Thank you, Hidden. The copper nickel? Copper nickel. Copper nickel mix. We got Megan at 10. Alex is out. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. We had Alex at I love seven, the Megan back. at 10. Yes, reverse. Ma and this is the Royal Silver Ooh, Jubilee really pretty green. commemorative coin. It's copper nickel. It would not make a good ring. It may That'd be, be hard to work with, huh? It may be pretty, but no good. <laughs> Here, your Lord Dacon. <laughs> so back again to that. <laughs> it says hush to call. <laughs> we got Megan at 10. Thank you, Megan. Megan for 11. Alex is out. If all end all done, Roz is calling it down. So we. What do you do for So mine? last call. Cooper Nickel Yacht. Oh. Oh, it has its place. Everything has its place. It just wouldn't get pretty after it's been heated up in the two Going turns. once. Yeah. Going. Twice. Twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. What did you put up, Diane? Why? Because I'm confused on what's going. On. Okay, we're at. How did Al? How was Alex? We're at lot number I must fifteen. Have changed the price on it because I had. Yeah, I did. I remember. I'll forget it. It's my deal. We sold to Megan for ten dollars. Thank you, Megan. Congratulations. See what I was talking about on your list? That's weird. Yeah, I changed. Sorry, that was my fault. I forgot I did that. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. 15. Lot 15. Megan. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank Megan. Thank you, Alex and Megan. That's right. You went and changed numbers and whatever. Some we of just them, kept yeah. what we printed. Okay. Now, Oz, did you take my Sour Patch kids? I can't find them anywhere. He did, I'm sure. Majestic, I think he did. I've been watching him. You got to watch him around candy. Yeah, he changed it to opening for and six. No, but if you had seen them, I wouldn't admit it to it. <laughs> so next up, we're back up there at Canada. Canada, we're going to Canada again. And look at there, 1982 silver proof. I'll oh, wait for it. Grand opening. Oh, Diane, look at that. What? There is your 50% silver bison skull. What? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got to get over there. And we have $10 on this. And Alex comes in at 11 Thank you, Megan. Hey, most hated. Welcome oh, back. Oh, yeah. The bison skull. 127 there today? Dang. Where? In, in, the, in Florida? Where? No, the cone. Probably in the natties. California. Huh? He's not in California. 
Canana Nerds, that's right. And of course, who's on the back of Canana Nerds coins? Queen Lizzie and all her glory. That's in his young Lizzie truck. in the trailer, yeah, or Maddie's, maybe. Did I run out of sheets? Oh, oh, oh. We have Alex at $11. We all in on this? No, Hidden says, not so fast there, you crazy Scotty. I'm coming in at I'm 12. I'm going at 12. Just, Alex goes just in at 13. Alex. There you go. Washington State. Go, yeah. <clears throat> That's where Hidden Bob Tacone is. Washington. Oh. Really? Okay. I've seen him there before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have uh, Alex come 13? back at 13. That coin is almost as pretty as all oh, Almost. Oz. Almost Oz. Thank you, Oz. Thank you, Hidden. Hidden is out. Did you send that check? I sent it. I sent it. Yep, I sent it. It's in the mail, of course. It's in the mail, of course. Oh, well. Looking for 14. <laughs> Alex is holding strong at 13. Demon lady. What? He's talking about the reverse of the coin, honey. Oh. So going once, Regina. Or as they say in Europe, Regina. Okay. Regina. Going once. Regina. Going once. Going twice. We're going once and then we're going to go twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. We're going to have to say fair warning. Free. So do Alex. Free french fries at Natty's. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Alex. I was going to hang out with us. <laughs> put that in your pack. And thank you for your bids hidden, Alex. And all of you. All righty. So that Fred is... Carson comes in at 14 way too late. Sorry, Fred. Sorry, Fred. But I either think you did that on purpose or you need a refresh. <laughs> well, I guess you've been told, Fred. <laughs> either way, it didn't work. <laughs> All right. We're going back to Miss Florida Lena's homeland. We're going back to the Philippines. Boy, That's we're getting right. some travel miles galore. And what we have up here is... A the... peso. <laughs> One peso. Let me flip that over. And this is the 1909 San Francisco... U.S. Philippines, one <laughs> peso. There is your uh, 0.5144 ounce We saw silver. it, Fred. You were too late. And I have Fred at 18. DeCone said, I quit. <laughs> LOL. Okay, I quit too then. If we're quitting, where do I sign up? Okay, Fred's at 18. Fred, you outbid yourself because Newman Hidden came in at 18 and now you went in at 19. Do you want 19? What are we doing here? Pearl of the Rising Sun is what she calls that. Megan comes in at 20, Fred. Which one? Carson. Oh, no. The Pearl. Uh, I don't know. Ask Flora. That's what she said. Pearl of the Rising Sun. Oh. Well, now I'm confused. Anyway, this is what we have up is the 1909 one peso U.S. Philippine. And we have Fred Why Carson. Why does it say the United States of America? USPI. The Philippine Islands. Oh. Just like the first one and the second one we had up there minted in the U.S. for the Philippines. Okay. I so get it's it. USPI. Oh, slash. I didn't know we had that. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Okay. And Megan comes in at 22. Thank you, Megan. After Fred came in at 21, and he comes back at 23. Ooh, Fred was in at 23 first, Alex. Okay. Is gotcha. the girl of the rising sun. God, I get it now. Thank you, Ms. Bell. Oh, Florida Lena, what are we going to do? And I thought man? you were the pearl this whole time, ma'am. <laughs> oh, nice recovery. Huh? How about that? Oh, Florida Lena, what a recovery, girlfriend. My mama didn't raise no dummy. No, he did. She didn't. 
Megan at 24. Fred, Fred comes back at 25. Go get it, you two. Duke it out, Megan. Fred won't care. He, he likes to banter with the women out there. Yeah, remember, that's the lovely and talented Fred Carson. Though. Lovely and talented. And then we got Megan at 26. <laughs> Alex is out. Mr. Roman, <laughs> you're just a little behind. There you go. Mr. Roman at 25. But Megan is already at 26. <laughs> he was at 25 before. He forgot. Oh, 27 is what we need, Mr. Mr. Roman. Roman. Is out, and Hidden is only five years old, of course. Hidden is only five years old, of course. Of course. And he lives on the moon. Mr. Roman is out. And let's see. So we have Alex and Mr. Roman are both out. And we have Fred and Megan and possibly, oh. Florida Lima, the Pearl of the Philippines. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if this is hidden out too. Fred's only six and hidden's only five. Well, cheapers, you guys. What does that make me? <laughs> Old. Old. <laughs> Amen. So we got Megan at 26, looking for 27 to fall in all done. Boom, we'll call it down. So let's go get it. Well, go get it, you young fellers. Go get it. We're going once. We're going twice. Go Hello, get Coin it. Captain. Coin Captain is here. Hello. How oh. are you? Hello. Going Again. twice to Megan? Hello. Going twice. Where's my bell? Uh, the mic thing freeze up again. Nah, you are Mr. McDonald. What he is what? Thank you, Hidden. I appreciate you, my friend. I'm I don't know, but it must have been something good. She is sweet. Going twice. Yes, ma'am. So oh, yes, fair sir. warning. Fair, fair warning. warning. Megan, it's coming to you. 26. 26. Congratulations, Megan Doom. Congrats, Megan. 17. Thank you, ma'am. Whoop, whoop. All right, back to Canada. Yeah, I got to. This is going to take me up. We're going to do some amazing traveling coming up here. Oh, yeah. Around the world in 60 seconds. Well, probably not that fast. <laughs> 60 minutes, maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. No, no, 90 minutes. Lot number 18. And wait for it. What do we have here? Another double dollar set. And then this is the 1988. And you're going to get a 50% silver. That is the Blacksmith Iron Workers commemorative silver dollar, 50% silver, a crest of arms half, coat of arms half, um, your caribou quarter, maple leaf. Scent, sailboat, dime, beaver, nickel, and then you have a loony, one dollar. A loony? A loony. So there is your commemorative fifty percent silver, one dollar, and yep. there is your one dollar loony. We have Alex at twenty and him at twenty-one. And of course, on the reverse, we have lovely um, Queen Elizabeth in all her glory. And all of your pertinent information. So that's what we have up. Good luck on that, everyone that is interested. And oh, there we go. Now, that silver dollar does have a little toning down there on the south side of the coin, it would show. Thank you for the bibs. Hidden says, why try? I get it, brother. Some days you just can't win. So Alex is at 22. <clears throat> this camera is going to get a 22 if it doesn't straighten out. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. It is a nice set. Okay, I got it focused. I don't want to move. So we're at twenty-two dollars, and Oz is calling her down. Thank you, buddy. Alex Smith is holding strong. Twenty-two dollars, going once. Going once, going once, going twice. And yes, I can hold the coin and ring a bell. In fact, I can ring two bells. Oh, you're just so talented. multi-talented. Yeah. 
about to shoot. Joe about to shoot the camera. I am. Well, you know. Oh, bitters, do you have a passport? <laughs> <Sister> <laughs> Paulina. Yes, they're all that coming is around. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning, it's sold to Alex. Congratulations, Alex. $22. Congrats, Alex. Alex. Alex is cleaning up on some of these forums tonight. Yep, Alex, we're going to have to ship a box. I'm going to have to do some thinking on that package before I invoice you. We'll make it all work. Oh, yeah. That's what we do. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Okay, that was lot number 18. Yes, ma'am. And that went for twenty-two dollars. Oh yeah, I know what I did here. All right. And Alex says, "Yes, I do. <laughs> I has a passport." Right on. Now, next up. Oh yeah. This see now this one I didn't have time to research, so I do not know about. <sighs> We're going to the Vatican now, guys. The center coin, if that is silver or Again. not. Again. But Back. nonetheless, here we go. We have, none of these have years on them. At least not in any language that I speak. That you can tell? There we go. And then we have this. Um, this one. And that one. Well... Majestic. And I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Majestic. Um, are you at, at home with the kids and the family, or are you at the workplace? Because um, I'm thinking only you. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alex at twelve. Those are really cool. Right points. there's the Citadel. There's uh, Mother Mary. Um, I think there's some more doves. Did you know the Vatican, they're all about doves? I don't know what that is. It's an upside down owl or something. Let's see. Nope, that's that's a sheep. That one's, that one, uh, Alden tried to buy that off me, but I told him that was not happening. Mm. And he, they're, uh, Planting something there. Oh, the rams. You got Megan to 13. Them are uh, baby sheep, aren't they? Um, That one is, yep. And the one, other one was that looked like a, a dog. Ball. And then, of course, we got to turn that upside down. And with a flower. And that's a uh, Madonna. Actually, that'd be an olive leaf, olive branch. Sure. No, it is. I, I get it. I'm just saying, I don't know what they are. Children with the little lambs. Or maybe the shepherd. That's interesting. All the little symbols for. We got Megan a fifteen. Sorry, we're looking at the coins. <laughs> Just... mm, you're looking at the coins. I'm showing them. True. There is a difference. <laughs> the truth comes out. Wasn't me, but just sounds like something. <laughs> that didn't have to. Alex is out. We have Megan at fifteen. Thank you, guys and gals. <laughs> <laughs> What if I, Majestic did it? <laughs> and this one as well. You can see how the, the plastic sleeve was all scuffed, so I left it out yeah. of there. Yeah, who leaves them? Thank you, Alex. Scoop of ice cream in the freezer. That's yes. unsinkable. You? Okay, you got full ice cream. We're tired of it. That's how. I know nothing. <laughs> so Megan's got this at 15, looking for 16. All in, all done, going once. Wow, she's you got that all in one breath, Diane. I I well done, ma'am. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> going twice. We're going once, going once, going twice. Yeah, we're going, going twice. And fair warning. It's a fair warning. Going to you, Megan. A fair warning. A fair warning. From 78 to 90. Megan, it's sold to you. Right on, Megan. John, uh, Paul, the, <laughs> I don't remember how many. Congratulations, Megan. That's right. Majestic. Everyone in this room does it. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Megan. Congratulations. Thank you, bidders. We got one from the Vatican for 15 for Megan. That is right. Okay, now we got to go back to Canada. Everybody, put on your seatbelts. Here we go. Back to Canada. No, yeah. Make up your mind. Can Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's for Megan. Yeah. And here we have a 1912 fish scale. I'm trying to put this up before I do that. And I'm going to have to find my auto. Because it's important to you. Megan? Megan. Megan. Here is my uh, auto focus. Oh. So a nice look at 1912 Canadian silver five cent coin, aka a fish scale. This is 925 silver. Not that you care because Alex is at six. This is a little bugger about the size of a trime, but oh, wait. and we have Alex at six holding strong. Thank you, Alex. Whoop. There we go. There. Nineteen twelve. This one you can still see a, a lot of the design in the maple leaves. So it's in a little better. Shaped in the last one. Spaminator comes in at 650. And the Spaminator strikes again. 650. Thank that you, Happy very Paul. very beautiful. Look how detailed it is for an old coin. I love these. I have mm, I have a few of them. I'll just... Then Hidden comes in at 750 after Alex came back at 7. Thank you, guys. So now we got Hidden at 750. 750. 750, 750. A little little <laughs> ditty. Oh. None of that, lady. Sorry. It's nope. been a long day. Don't oh. even note me. I was up at six. That's not my fault. My fault. <laughs> fault, not the other word that you thought I was gonna say. <laughs> 1912 is a good year for somebody. Yeah, they were born. <laughs> Fred. <Yeah. laughs> Get lost with your pity cents bits. Out. Oh, Alex is out. Alex is uh, out. Yeah, Megan comes in at eight. Thank you, Megan. Oh, hit and Megan come in at eight. You're funny, lady. I can't believe that you thought I was going to say the Flippenheimer on here. We really need to go there. Fred Carson comes in at eight. I do. I'd like to debate you every now and then. Actually, if Paul Hampton came in first, tell me what your screen says. Mine says Paul Hampton at 8.50 first. Okay. Paul Hampton, 8.50. You are up at 3 a.m. Hi-ho. Right on, hi-ho. Okay. I think I was too. I think I commented on your video about 3 a.m. <laughs> really? Megan's coming at 9. And Oz had uploaded a video about 3 a.m. I got up for... A, yeah, but you slept in later than... Mm -hmm. That's because I can. I was up early. For you, yeah. You were. Absolutely you were. No, fifth, no, no 25 cent bids. We do 50 cents up to $10. That was and then, Fred Carson, wasn't it? And then No, Alex asked. And then we go with uh, $1. But thank you for asking, Alex. I appreciate you. So we have Fred Carson holding this at 9.50. I want to show you the reverse one more time. And then, uh... oh, yeah. Look at King George there. King Georgie, That's a majestic Georgie, pose. No, no pun intended, majestic. There's a pun? No. I said that is a majestic pose. Yes. It's very... Justin's not a poser. No, he's not. But the, but that pose huh? or that picture, that profile is very authoritative. Nice try, Alex. That's funny. Fred Carson come in at eleven. Paul oh, Hampton no. at twelve. The spaminator strikes back. Where's Buzz? Like giving him all these. Uh, there you go, Majestic. Giving him all these. Um, well, yeah, you're right. Hi ho. 
It is. That's why I was up at 3 a.m. <laughs> Natural alarm clock. Fred Carson's out. Thank you, Fred. I don't wake up to an alarm it's, anymore. It is half a 50 cents. I haven't for correct. quite some time, actually. I just wake up. So we're at 12. Are we all in, all done on this? And then I can't sleep, so I get up. Are we? Oh. Just a little tidbit. That'll do it. There you Thank you very much. Is Miss Bell still in the room? Is she? We're going once. Thank you, Megan. Is out. We're going once. Going once to Paul Hampton at twelve dollars. We're going twice. We are going twice. We're <laughs> gonna say fair warning. With chanting. Fair warning. This oh, it does this, sound like a chant. Is some it? kind of goat slayer music you're singing? <laughs> Yuck. We're going. No, that ba, would, ba, no, 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 ba, that ba. would be the. What do you call those guys in the? So, to Paul Hampton, twelve dollars. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations, Polly Wog. Twelve dollars. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Twelve dollars to Polly Wog for lot twenty. Correct. Yes. Anyway, I was going to tell Miss Bell we received our shirts today. Oh yeah. Twenty. What lot? Oh, I got my hoodie and my shirt, so we'll show them 20. off tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. no, there's a problem here. I'll give you my sheet. Paul, is this your first one tonight? It is. Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's the crit. Okay, that's why. Congratulations, Paul. 7 p.m. And this is lot 20, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't need your sheet. All right, I'll take it back then. I just, it's all good. I'm going to do this and then I have to go upstairs for a moment. Yeah. We're going back to the Philippines, folks. Like I said. Back to the Philippines. And what we have up next is a 1908S. So this is, again, silver, one peso. I'm way too close because my camera is going to tip over. There we go. Silver, one peso, U.S. Philippines. Opening bid is $18. Show you the reverse. There's your S mint mark. And the United States of America. We have Hidden at 18 first. Thank you, Hidden. Thank you, Fred. So this is, again, is 0.5144 ounce of 900 silver. And somewhere here. Majestic or Fred at 21. No, Majestic at 20. Then Fred come back. Or, yeah, Fred come back at 21. So there we go. Does that help? I don't know if it did or not. So I'm going to leave it there. If I can get it centered. <clears throat> Majestic, come back at 22, just ahead of you, Fred. So this is a 1908S, U.S. Philippines, one peso. Hidden is out. Thank you, Hidden. Now I have Fred Carson at 23. We've got a battle going on here. Forget it, kid. You're only five years old. And Majestic says, out, Fred. And I think he punched you in the nose. No, that was a fist bump. Sorry, my 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 mistake. <laughs> Oz, is are we all in? We are at twenty three dollars on this nineteen oh eight S, and if so, we're going once. Thank you, Oz. You're a rock star, brother. Twenty three going once to Fred Carson. Going twice to Fred Carson. Right on, Majestic. And sold to Fred for $23. Thank you, Fred. Gotcha. Nice, nice coin, buddy. You're going to like that. And 
And of course, next we're going back to Canada. And this time we are going with a silver 50 cent piece. Um, my lovely assistant left me, so I will show you. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so there we go. 1961, Canada. You all could have left it at 18. Right on, Fred. So 1961, Canadian half dollar. We have $10 to open. And I will show you the coin here. If I can get it out of this thing. All right. I have victory, victory. So here we have the 1961 Canada 50 cent. There's your coat of arms. And I have Alex at $12. Hello, Golden Treasures. How are you, sir? And of course, on the reverse, we have, or obverse, we have Lizzie, young Lizzie. And there we are. So 1961, silver, Canadian half dollar. Alex is at $12. Um, yeah, I could have had it at, <laughs> hidden. If I can't see air, can I see, can fish see water? Hmm. Hmm. I give up, uh, Clinton. What is the answer? So we're looking for 13. Are we all in at 12? We're going to give this to Alex. Uh, okay. I think you got that one off of a uh, Cracker Jack box, maybe, Clinton. Just saying. We're calling this down to Alex. <clears throat> $12 to Alex Smith. Going once, going twice, it's because it's Canada. I, I agree. I like the Canadian half dollars. I like the uh, coat of arms that they have on there with the lions and stuff. You like that design, Oz? Right there. Sold to Alex for $12. Thank you, Alex. Let me know, Oz, because I have a few of these I know. I'll send you one of them as well thank you alex nope rancher jolly rancher popsicle okay i'm in i like the grapes ask uh, oz <laughs> we're gonna stay in canada for a little layover here for the next uh three coins we are on layover in Canada. And we have our third and final um, fish scale up today. This one's a dark one, but it's still a nice looking fish scale. A 925 silver, 1914 Canada five cent. And it has some dark toning, but it has a lot of uh, strong details. That's right, Oz. <laughs> and let me show you King George. Yeah, it's starting to uh, tone, I think, rather nicely on the reverse. Alrighty, and I'm going to go back to the obverse, and then we are going to There we go So 1914 Canada 5 cents silver 925 silver 
And we have Alex in the lead. Or wait, is it sold already? Maybe I'm out of whack here. It was. Sorry, Oz. Or no. There we go. Oh, nobody put it up. Duh. Sorry about that, Diane. <laughs> Sorry, Oz. I forgot Diane was posting. I'm out of I'm all out of sorts. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I will make sure I take care of that. <laughs> I apologize, everybody. I'm a little out of sorts, apparently. So, again, we have the 1914 five cent fish scale from Canada. We have hidden in the lead at $6 right now. Thank you, uh, Megan. But now Megan comes back at. I know the uh, it wasn't from the spreadsheet hidden. Hidden is out now. Thanks, Oz. You're freaking awesome. I don't care what they say about you at the post office them posters on the wall just teasing buddy I know nothing it is a nice coin thank you Alex and we have Megan is in the lead at this one right now <clears throat> this little fish scale may be going to Miss Briley in Texas. Oz calling her down, going once, going twice. Here you go, Joe. So don't use them all up. <laughs> Oklahoma is right. I love you, brother. So we're going twice, looking for seven. That is pretty funny. Six fifty to Megan Briley. Wait for it. What? Sold to Megan for six dollars and sixty cents. Thank you, Megan. Congratulations, Megan, for six fifty. Yes, ma'am. Lot 23, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Megan. And uh, Hidden. I think there were the only two bidders on that one. Megan. Okay, this next one should be interesting. You want to know why? Thank you, Megan. Pennsylvania. Because I think it's cool. We're still in Canada. Yeah, we're on a little layover here. I already explained that to the passengers. A little delay? A little layover in Canada. Huh? You heard it right here first, Hidden. Get your passport ready. We have a 2003 <laughs> proof. Canada dollar. Now look at this lovely little case. Yes, it's lovely. It's leather. Oh. And what is this? Well, first of all, we have pertinent information. pertinent information, and this is an Arctic fox. Ooh, I'm gonna fox. take that out of there. So this is nine two five silver. There's a boss in a room. Where? Clinton? Where? It has the Arctic fox. It's two thousand and three Canadian proof dollar, and it is limited to one hundred and twenty five thousand coins worldwide. And this was number 86962 of 125,000. And of course, we have the lovely queen on the reverse. But we have the Arctic fox and the, uh, I don't know what's going on there, an outpost or something. Hey, Ed Morley, how are you, sir? Ed, Ed Morley. Ed Morley, good to see you. Comes in at 30. Thank you, Ed. And Terry says, Manitoba. You are correct, sir, I do believe. I don't. <laughs> and it's round, hidden. <laughs> so Gosh. when Canada's mining industry was born, 100-year anniversary of the cobalt silver strike. There you go. Mm. 
and that is in uh, Ontario at the time, the Ontario Railway. Anyway, this is way too much. This is actually this is nine. 99.99% silver, not 925. It's 99.99 silver. Almost. I stand corrected. Wow. So this is, yeah, that's, I guess that's why I started at $30. Dove season comes in at 31. Hey, Dove, good to see you again. Hey, Dove season. Thank you for coming in. Always good to see you. And uh, you as well, Terry. Thank you for the tidbit there. It's a thingamajig. <laughs> That's right. It's a thingamajig. It's a very cool. That is a head frame for a hoist. Yeah, and Morley at 32. Dove comes back in at 33. Very cool, guys. Good to see you guys, both of you. Thanks for coming. Right on. We got Ed and Dove season battling it out over this Arctic fox. <laughs> Canana nerds. Silver coin. Remember, this is 125,000 of these minted worldwide. I wonder if that's minted for worldwide distribution. Oh. Or if they were minted somewhere other than Canada. Ooh, good huh. question. Got Are you saying the pertinent information? No, I, I read it. That's just what it said. It's a whatchamacallit, Oz? Yeah. After Oz called it a thing with Jake? No. Then it says, no, it's a whatchamacallit. <laughs> oh, look, what about a doohickey? It could have been a doohickey. And hidden, hi ho, can see you from his place. <laughs> that is funny. It does have that ambiance. That's funny. I wish that lady wasn't on <laughs> so many of those coins. <laughs> no comment, Ed. That would be politically incorrect. Comments. No comment, but I tend to agree with you. Just saying. But that's what makes it. Specific. We don't have to corner the world on our portrait of on coins. Well, hello, Sir Gold. Good Here to you see are, you. Sir Gold. People were looking that, for you earlier. Did today. you just call him for a short girl? <laughs> I <probably didn't. laughs> did. Going twice. Good to see you, <laughs> Sir Gold. <laughs> happy Paul Hampton was worried about you. He thought maybe the wife got. It you was or Happy Paul Hampton. That's right. Earlier this afternoon, Sir Gold, good to see you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you were lurking. Aha. Earlier right today, on. too? Or a screen? Uh, blah, 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 blah. How about that one? I had to censor your talking. Censor it? Yeah, because that's what I do. I um, censor. Censorship is like citizenship. Huh. I saved you, honey. I didn't want you to say some of them words out loud. Because you're a lady. <laughs> Clinton, a Sir Gosserade. <laughs> All right, we are on lot number 25. No. Yes, we are on 25. 24, uh, 24 right, now. right now. And we've got Terry coming in, Knopf Singer, at 34. Well, hello, Cindy. How are you? Cindelicious, mixing it up. Cindelicious, good to see you. Hello, thank you for coming. It's been a while. It's good to see you, ma'am. I oh, hope no, you're doing not well. Your people again. And there's Colorado coin, <laughs> Colorado <laughs> coin hunting. <laughs> Karma's a real witch, isn't she, Joe? Oh, my goodness, <laughs> I love it. I do too. Colorado, I have. Uh, where did I put that? Terry, you sold to Terry at 34. Congratulations. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I guess it's sold for 30 now. <laughs> no. Congrats, Terry. That's a nice coin. $34. Thank you, Terry, for a bit. And congratulations. And thank you, bidders. Terry. Terry Knopfzinger. Knopfzinger, yes. My stalker friend. Good to see you, Cindy. Of whom I trade off stocking. Stalker friend. Well, good. yeah, we trade off stocking. Stocking? Yeah, we stock each other. You know, in the channels. Mm hmm. That's how it works. Congrats, Terry. That one will be coming to you. Wait a minute, Terry, didn't you win the giveaway the other day? Didn't you, didn't you, huh? Okay, we have what? Six, seven items to go, I think. Yep, not, not, I gotta find this sheet, honey. 
Hold on. All right. Can we Please. post the next thing? And yeah, or we I can, can do that. PayPal sent. Thanks so much. Not leaving yet. Okay, Cheryl. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate, sweetheart. So anyway, we're still up in Canada. Sin delicious. It's so good. Never hiding that Satan's job. You're right. And it is. what we have this time is a 1945. I'm so glad you came in, Cindy. And this is the uh, another Canadian half dollar. <sighs> and it is 80% silver. Oh, we got to get the king up there on the right way. There's there's old Georgie. We have Alex at 16. Cheryl, you're awesome. We appreciate you, ma'am. Good, I do have one for him. Sweetest lady on YouTube right there. Oh, Cheryl oh. Busman. She's an amazing woman. We got Alex at 16. Yeah, Cheryl always leaves wonderful comments. Just for just, She's a, just a good lady. Because she can and she's just sweet. Yep. Sweet as punch. Well, not as sweet as you, Diane, but she's she's close. She's Honey, close you don't second. have to suck up. It's okay. I get it. Believe me, I'm not sucking. <laughs> no, you're no, not. I'm not sucking. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Alex holding this at 16. Are we all in? I want to get out of Canada because I got to go back. No one knows when the door closed, but if you really think about it, the opener was behind the door. Put on, put the fan still. But the fan still makes sense. That's to right, use Cindy. Where it is needed, and not <laughs> sitting up. I don't understand what you're saying, Clinton. Shh. This is a 1945. Besides you, that's right, Sydney. You're um, right. Sweet, Ed. Ed comes in at 17. He got his uh, booty quarter and uh, four nickels today. His It arrived today? His type one standing See there? liberty. No comment, Joe. That's right. Patience is a virtue. Looks like we all get some today. And Alex comes back at 18. Thank you, Alex. At least me. What you, what you call a virtue? Patience. Oh. Yeah, it's a cool thing. Um, PG. That was a that was very PG, Colorado, I think. Maybe you have a dirty mind. I was going to show you a coin though, Colorado. Oh, he was saying because of the booty. Oh yeah, that's that's all PG. That's that's probably G. Oh, do they different ears? Red's not in here. They have, they have different years. The reverses, yeah. And I told him, I don't. I told him the year, and I don't know. I answered him already. I don't know what year they changed them. I was just curious because I didn't get to hear that part. I don't know what year they changed them. <sighs> Take okay. care, Clinton. Okay, Clinton. Yeah, go back to sleep. Much love to you. Big hugs. Say hello to Sandy. Give her a hug for me, and then you can hug her too. <laughs> he wasn't sucking anything. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wasn't. Of course, you would remember that, Clinton. Wish I got mine today, but we'll have to have them tomorrow for sure, yeah. Um, from last week, Sir Gold? Yeah, right, Colorado. Yeah, Going twice. Juice does arrive on Fridays. I don't know. Fair warning. A lion on one side and a unicorn on the other. So Alex. Congratulations, Alex. For $18. Congratulations, Alex. That will come in your package, sir. Timestamp. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilson. Wilson? I thought you were going to bed. <laughs> all right, Colorado. Oklahoma. I'm going to throw this in your package, all right, buddy? <gasps> what? Freedom Tower. Is a package. And I don't know the metal content, but on the edge, it says some stuff. It says that it's silver recovered from the World Trade Center, but then it gives a, <laughs> a, a different amount of clad, so I don't know. But that's coming to you, Colorado, so thanks that's for being you, buddy. Colorado coin hunting, right? Yep. Yes, and thank you for your service, my friend. Absolutely. And your sacrifice. So, yes. The Freedom Towers coming to you. Freedom Towers. And I am looking at, I'm working on the other things that we talked about. British, Canada, United States. Words. 
I heard it. Oh. <laughs> I don't have my notes by me, but I think for Tuesday's option. No, I haven't mailed. Oh, no, Sir Gold, if you would have seen the email, I did not mail today because we were internet down yesterday. So we're mailing Monday. If you need it, we can mail some. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll email you, Rick or Sir Gold. I need the other. <clears throat> all right. I'll... We're all out of wax here. All over the board. I got it. You Peace. got it? We're going to Scotty. We're going to Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. <laughs> and what I have up next is an 1824. Nova Scotia, half cent. The province of Nova Scotia, 1824, half penny token. And the $50 opening bid on this. Nineteen. And it's 1824, half penny, near P. And that's all I, all I know. And let me cover this so we don't have all that glare. This is nice looking for 1824. It's like kaboom. I will. Um, Colorado, I will check that out. Oh, then you should have it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm talking about coins from one of our other options will be here tomorrow according to tracking oh that was from last week i'm 50 cents now that's 50 dollars nice try though ed nice try and i just it this doesn't really matter to me if we sold it or not no he's but, saying what kind of coin is like a denomination right oh for a half cent right well it's a token i don't know okay last time <laughs> Clinton. Wilson, you're cracking me up. Okay. Love you, Clinton. You silly, silly boy. I don't know if anybody wants to look that up or not, but Oz, I think you can start calling it down. We'll just keep this moving. What is it made out of? It looks like copper. Oh, very well cooked. It is copper or a copper or bronze, one or the other, but copper is what I'm sticking with. Oh, that's right, Shirley. I remember you telling us that. Well, nobody will forget. Oh, there we go. I know I I had a thing pulled up on NGC and I didn't print. I spaced to doing it again. Thanks, Oz. All right, where are we? We're going once. What is the round it block is. bat? Oh, it's a hockey book. Oh, you were going to answer that, huh? Sorry. <laughs> I apologize, my love. Hey, Joe. Mm-hmm. Love you. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Thank you, Oz. Okay, next up to the Caribbean. We're going to the Caribbean now? Well, you're not. I don't think so. No. I'm grounded. We're going to stay put. We're going to Barbados to be Barbados to be exact. Who wants to go with me? Um, Barbados. You're staying home to feed the animals. <laughs> Florida Lena, they're keeping me home. So Diane's staying home to feed the animals, and we're going to Barbados to feed the animals. Chucky, what I have up is the in the deers and the antelope play. <sighs> Here, this is the Barbados. Now, look at the... It almost has a hammered finish on it. There you go. You can kind of see that. And we have the Trident. This is three nines fine, silver, one ounce. And it is a 2018 Barbados silver round. Florida Lena hears me. I know. Did you see that? And we have Ed. Ed Floor. <laughs> we have Ed Morley in at $40. Thank you, Ed. 
there you can see how it has that hammered finish almost like waves in it very cool so i'm gonna do it like this thank you ed we appreciate you marvelous marvelous simply marvelous so again you it's take care of your pet bear in the garage Diane. oh you know what that booger came back that booger either that or it was raccoons I don't I'm know. thinking it was a bear. That was an awfully heavy. Dove season came in at 42, and Ed Morley came back at 43. Miss Bell is still listening. Thank you, sweet lady. Did you hear me? We got our shirts, our sweatshirts and stuff in today. We'll, oh, we'll show off some swag tomorrow. Yep. We're going to be swagging. Oh, no, Alex, this is a hockey puck. So we have Ed holding strong at 43. Did you get booted again? That is kind of cool. The fish on that coin. So we're going once with Ed at 43. I kind of like the trident. I was going to do something with it. Yes, here's the hockey puck. Made in uh, Slovakia. We'll be putting that up next. Where did that go? We're going to Slovakia to sell a hockey puck. Going yes. twice. Well, I don't need, I don't know, Sir Gold. We started so with the Ed. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ed. Ed, Ed Morley. <laughs> Ed Morley. I'm chatting with kids. That's why I cannot chat here. Oh, well, that makes sense. 43 to Ed. Bronze. Yeah, maybe. I don't think I have. I have to put one for him. So, Ed Morley, congratulations. I don't know. I wasn't sure. I just I thought that, that Trident Ed would look cool on the top of a bell because of that finish, that wavy finish. And then it just, well, well hello, Peggy hunts everything. Hello, Peggy. How's it going, Peggy? You can what only you know, keep Peggy? so many things in stock for ideas that you might do someday. So, right on, uh, Sir Gold. It's a merlion. <laughs> Ed Morley. Thank you, sir. Well, so much for the Caribbean. Okay, we're leaving the Caribbean. And we're going back to the Vatican. Right, look at one here. Okay. Yes, we are going back to the Vatican. To the Vatican. No, we're not going to the Vatican yet. We're not? We have to go. Wait. Wait. Yeah, we are. You're darn right we are. Yep, we are. The Vatican, 1958. Now, this was the uh, much lower mintage than the original, and this one has got some beautiful toning on it. So we have is 1958, 500 lire, 83.5 silver, and 100,000 of these were minted. I'm going to show you the opposite. So 83.5% silver. Majestic, there's your tree again. You might be in the background. Sydney. I'm just... <laughs> There's Majestic. <laughs> 25 from Majestic. And, of course, we have the Dove in the Sun. Dove in the Sun. Where's my... That is beautiful, Cindy. You're where is my right. stinking... Winter? Thing. Yeah. Oh. Right here. Right where it's not supposed to be. Oh, your felt cover. This is my autofocus. It's not working. There you go, Majestic. And everyone. So we got Alex at 26 now. Beautiful toning on this. And I want to show you the other side. Once we needed more. Uncle Al for the world tour. It right. Says Bigfoot. <laughs> right on Bigfoot. He would have set us straight. He would have. We got Majestic coming in at 30. 
he probably would have told us we're stupid for running around the country like that or the world like that too. We got freaking flyer flyer miles right now. So that's right. Only foreigners can bid. Sorry, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can bid. You just need to have your passport. Oh hi, ho. Thank you, Sir Gold. <laughs> Sir Gold, it was good to see you and uh You're right, Steve. Take care, my friend. Thanks for coming in, Sir Gold. Hopefully Appreciate we, your support. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll be here at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Oh my goodness gracious. Yep. Tomorrow afternoon, two o'clock. No rest for the wicked. Well, then that's good because I got lots of rest. What about you, Joe? I'm always rested. That's what All I right, do. Then. Guess you're not wicked either. No. <laughs> no. Yes, gold does do good battles. Absolutely. Speaking of hockey pucks, says Fred Carson. Remember when Minnesota moved to the North Stars, Dallas? I got a puck with the year Dallas. Really? At the Stanley Cup? Only thing I know about hockey? I oh, remember God. that too. And uh, Wow. On Dallas is what I say to that. Well, you know, I can't. I, I don't know. I didn't know that's what happened, but when I saw them there and I was living there, I was like, oh, my God, we got a hockey in there. The North Stars. Going twice. That's Sold to Majestic that worked. for $30. Thank you, Majestic. <laughs> Congratulations, Majestic. Thanks, yeah. Ross, for keeping on track for You're us. You're going to like that, buddy. Again. Sold to Majestic for 30 Yeah. Uh, Peggy, yes, you did, and didn't missed out. But we'll get him next time. <clears throat> okay, that was majestic. I gotta write that on here. Thirty dollars. Here you are. All right, we have four items left. Thank goodness. It's getting getting down to the wire. It's getting late. No, it's not. It just feels that way. What I have next? We're though, going to Austria. We're going Australia. to Australia this time. Not Austria, Australia. Man, we're seeing some great places, huh? Cool, hidden. They are Australian sets coming up. It's not really a pure foreign option. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh so, my hole, I love you. What we have in here, and I do not know anything about any of these, other than. They all have stuff on them. Like, I don't know. Are them fish? Are they I birds? I says 45. That's coming home to me. I bet. Mm -hmm. I hope knows what this is. This set's selling on eBay for between $75 and $100, if you can believe that. Why? I have no clue. So Alex comes back at 46. There's some cool toning on some of these, but it does not want to show. How about autofocus? Look at that, huh? <laughs> oh, Bigfoot. Hi Ho comes back at 50. Bigfoot says he's been lighting a candle ever since the North Stars left. Now he's stuck with a wild. <laughs> Somebody time him out. <laughs> that stinking guy there. See the toning on that one I showed you on the reverse? There's the obverse. It's got beautiful toning as well. Alex is out. Hi Ho is at 50. All well, in, all done. It looked better the other way. But we have a fried lizard. No, a frilled lizard. <laughs> they might fry their lizards too. I don't Do you know. guys have fried lizard there? I don't know. We have so we have put them on the Barbie. <laughs> the two cent is a fried lizard, and uh, then we have a feather tail glider, um, a an ant eater, a spiny ant eater, a liar bird, a platypus, and a yeah, a kangaroo. So that's what all them images are. And Namtram, hello, sir, comes in at 45 or 51. Namtram, hi, thank you for coming. There's the platypus right uh, there, right here. I can tell that one. Um, there's the anteater. That's all I know. It's called a frilled neck lizard. You bet. Uh, thank you. Hi ho! I was just trying to make a pun there, but uh, thank you, Colorado. We appreciate you, my friend, and all the sacrifices that you made for each and every one of us. And I don't mind saying that and trying to help you out anytime I can. And when I see that kind of stuff, you just, um, I don't know, you come on to my heart. So there you are. True story. It's the way it works. 
Hope you're doing well, Nam. <laughs> Thank you, Colorado Coin Hunter. Did I say SC object? I said Sarah Gold. Uh, Joe, I was also said if you were here. Oh, the okay, gotcha. Polywog. You're right. No, Colorado's not leaving. I was thinking. Sorry, Colorado. I meant you. Hi Ho's at 52 now because Nam came in at 51. Thank you, Hi Ho. Hi Ho's at 52. Yes, the Australian anteater. Oh, the Australian platypus. He's Australian that platypus. You're very welcome. Um, Those are really Colorado. cool looking. They are cool looking. Why are we selling this again? Those are things I like. Because um, I didn't ask for it, did I? No. And if I showed you everything and you wanted everything, then I wouldn't have anything. And then we wouldn't be doing this. We would be. No, no, no. That's not the case. We would case. be. I'd be back painting cars. and No, and you won't be back painting cars. And, I'm not pushing and, you in a chair. I, I, I like chairs. Nam at 53. You like chairs. <laughs> Nam Tran comes in at 53. Looking for 54, huh? Oh. Of course, there's the queen. First, there he is. Of course. This is a nice set. You guys, whoever gets this is going to be happy with that. Been yeah, crazy you can busy. mint more later. You're right, Cindy. You can mint more later. I can. So, yeah. How many do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mint foreign coins. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, you know nice what? Nice try, though, lady. I know. Spread your wings. I'm working on it every day. Every day. You gonna learn how to mint your own coins? You know, I'm gonna learn how to organize <laughs> the ones I do have. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> so we we have Nam at 53. Are you all in? Hi ho. Going twice. Dave's not here, man. Oh, hi ho is out. Duh. Colorado's got a spare choice. Okay, got a spare uh, chair. chair we could raise? Yeah. I don't even want to go that direction. <laughs> Thank you for the thought, Colorado, but I, you know. So to Nam. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nam, Nam for 53. Uh oh. I don't have a sheet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you better make one. I better get one, huh? Congrats, Nam. And thank you for your bid. Thank you, Hi Ho. For 53. You have to run upstairs fast. Ma'am, send Joe an email and give me your pertinent information so I can send the invoice because I don't think I got you in the database. I don't think you're ready. Okay, you and cover your ears, everyone. Thank what? you, hi ho. Hi ho, that's awesome. Hi ho, hi ho. Uh, Thank you, buddy. We appreciate you. I have three items left. This one, this next item is a New Zealand half penny, 1942. It is a nice high grade. Okay, thanks, Dan. And we're still in New Zealand. Now we're going to we're New Zealand. New Zealand. So 1942, New Zealand half penny. Let me get the fuzzies off of there. Okay. And this has an opening bid of make sure to name your name too. So I got that connected. I gotta turn that. So in MS, this is a mint state coin. And in MS 60, this was a hundred dollar coin. So just throwing that out there. I gotta, oh, hang on, I gotta get rid of that. Well, I don't have to, but I will. So New Zealand, 1942 half penny, and it has a, uh, of course, King George. There. That's cool, Oz. And this is actually the, yeah, it was 100 in MS <coughs> Mint State. So we started out. Thank you, Hidden. It is a nice, nice one. Come on, camera. So much for my autofocus. Joe likes to eat whistles. 
decone. I do. I'll be right back. You're just jealous of the cone because I have a train whistle and you, <laughs> you give away free French fries. I don't know if that's one of them. Uh, I don't know what they call them. Totem pole dudes there or what they're showing there. But do we have any interest? Fred Carson, hidden numismatist. And if not, that's all right. We'll just move on. Okay, Cindy, you just talked to Ducone. Because every time I blow that whistle, he gives away free french fries at Natty's. That's right. French fries, French fries. Absolutely. All right. Go ahead and call that one down, Oz. I don't think we have any interest in that. It's absolutely all right with me. So we're going once. Last call. Thank you, Oz. New Zealand. New half Zealand. Penny. Half penny. It's going once. If anybody wants to make an offer on that, I would consider that. On this one, I'm broke. Me too. Six hidden. My allowance don't go that high. I gotta well, give all them boys their allowances this week. <laughs> <laughs> Oz and Red and Johnny and oh my god, the list is long. And then Diane still thinks she needs money too. I don't understand it. No soup for me. No soup for no you. No, no soup for you or fries. <laughs> or fries. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted the soup, buddy. Thank you, Oz. This Thank you, guys. Soup. That's funny. Uh, I got it. All Bonnie right. Up in here. Next up. Oh, you know what we have up next? Did he close it? He yes, ma'am. I'm only five years old, says Hidden. We know. We know, brother. We know. Next up is, uh, I like Going to one. Canada. No, Here we go. Ma'am. Oh, we're going to Canada. Yep. Back to Canada and wait. 925 silver. Wait. What does that say? Stanley Cup. What? The 1993 silver dollar marks the no. 100th anniversary of the Stanley Cup donated by Lord Governor General Lord Stanley. Oh, oh Lord. Ed Morley. Ed Thank Morley. You, Ed. Pull your head, earbuds out of your ear. Get ready for it. Here we go. It has been fun. <laughs> Megan, that is sold to you for forty dollars. Yes, I would. Oh, oh. Okay. Thank you, Megan. So it's not closed. It's Megan for forty. Forty. Megan Riley. Thank you, Megan, and congratulations. Very cool. So I got find your sheet. Okay, here you go. So what we have Thanks. though here is the. <laughs> Thank you, Ed, by the way, too. So this is a 1993 Canada silver dollar, 925 silver, and this is commemorating the 100 years of the Stanley Cup. So you get the cup, you get a hockey player, and then you have a silhouette in the background that's not frosted, and a cup in the background. Very cool. And then, of course, we have the queen. I love hockey, too, Cheryl. That's... That's my favorite sport. They call me went by the bike rack after school. <laughs> you boys get along now. That one's not that Uncle hard. Sam Silver is here. Hello, Uncle Sam Silver. Well, hello. Wow. <clears throat> I'm trying to. There we go. Hello, Uncle Sam. How are you? I have Terry in at 30. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Nom Singer. Appreciate it. Just put it in my package, Joe, he says. <laughs> <laughs> right? I love these. Whoop. Oh, Alex is at 32. And I do have one of these. Looking for 33. That I kept for myself. So I'm not missing out on anything on this one. That's just not working. It's not working? How about I just leave it alone? Okay. <laughs> because it wants to slide everywhere. <laughs> there. 
So I have Terry at 33. Alex was at 32. Thank you. Good to see you, Uncle Sam Silver. So we have Terry Nossinger holding strong on this silver dollar. Canadian silver dollar. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Oh, my goodness gracious. Say it isn't so. Hidden, or not hidden, Decone. Hates trains. Cover your ears. Grab your cheeks. The cone just made a sweep. Oh, take your earbuds out. That was a double dip. Do not blow the whistle. If you blow the whistle, I ask for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I blew it twice, so I guess you got $7 coming. <laughs> so we got Terry Nonsinger at 35 Well, the cone. I should no. have read it first. <laughs> I just thought that is funnier than heck to call. Okay, we'll send you a refund. <laughs> That's a game you might want to box me, but I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to hurt you. <laughs> Thank you. Alex is out. We have Terry at 35 and I owe to cone seven dollars and ten cents. Yep. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> okay, get a refund. Refund. <laughs> I would blow it again, but you know. We don't want a double refund. So, so what do we got here? Terry's at 35. Call it right down. Go one once. Oh, there's silver bells. Silver bells. Mm -hmm. Terry Knopfinger. Going twice. Oh, he did, Alex. Doesn't mean he'll get one, but he asked for one. Refund. Fair warning. Fair warning. Oh, what will you do if a sniper, a sniper, Terry, it's coming to you. Thank you, Terry. Congratulations. Congratulations, Terry. Thank you, bidders. Yes, thank you all for your bids. And Terry, very nice. You're going to like that. All the pertinent information. <sighs> pertinent. And we know who's a true hockey fan now. <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right, you ready to go to the United Kingdom? That's going to be okay. our final tour. Yes, ma'am. Refunds are only refunded once you are owed one hundred dollars. <laughs> there, <I was> just, <laughs> so you just keep sending them, and then when you get up there, we'll let you know. <laughs> All right, again to the United Kingdom. This is a royal mint set. You're welcome, Terry. Thank you, thank you very much. Take thirty days to get it <laughs> right on. So this is a 1999. Earlier we had the 97, and same premise. Only this one is a $40 opening bid. Actually, I don't remember what the other one was. But what makes this one special is the Princess Diana five-pound coin. And there's actually, I think there's two bimetal coins in here, but I may be mistaken. So let me get this open. Whoa, that was scary. Whoa. That showed me. It showed you? Yeah. So we have the queen. <laughs> we have the queen on, on actually the obverse of all of these. And then the reverse we have. Well, this is a different bimetal, but oh, goodness gracious. Look at the lights are glaring. There's Princess Diana. That's a five pound. Princess Diana? One pound. And then the two pound over there is the bimetal. And then you have your, in the middle, honey, the big five pound coin. Oh, and the reverse. Memory of Princess Diana. Or Memory of Diana, Princess of Wales. <laughs> and these are all just bling and shiny and beautiful. So we're looking for an opening bid of forty dollars for this United Kingdom proof set. Yes, ma'am. And if it would focus for me, I would be much obliged. Oh, you know, there we go. Which one of these lights is throwing me off? Is it yours? Is it mine? Is it this one? Is it that one? No. Nope. Nope. nope, it's yours. Is that okay? I'll get it. There we go. Right. <laughs> so, 
so that's what we have up next we have an interest in that that is awesome if we don't that is just oh that is well. beautiful look at that if i could block out all this light i can see diane's reflection in it right next to queen there she is lady die i am with long hair i am all right we'll cover that up and see if we can transpose her onto the coin so are they silver no they are not they are clad these are all clad Hit Lady Diane, Princess of Durban, man. That's right, Flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Opening bid of $40. If on any interest at all, if not. And if not, I'm just going to give it to Diane. Yep. True story. I True will. True story, because it's got, I'm in there. <laughs> so, Oz, you go ahead and start calling her down. and Diane's chomping at the bit, because I'm going to give her this set. Oh, look how that does that. That's does cool. See it, how it. Ah, awesome. Hmm. Snooze, y'all lose. Search, Search. that. Just because that lady died, you don't have to call her that. And <laughs> add, yep, no interest. Give it to Diane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think I'm kidding. I'm not. No, I. Uh, no, none of them are silver, Megan. Right. Look at their Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam Silver. That lady needs a home. Yes, I do Cover need the a ears. home. Oh, you Uncle, got your home. head bones. Right here, head baby. bones. Headphones. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Sam Silver. We appreciate you. <coughs> Alex wants to know if you would take 35 for it. I don't know. Would you, Diane? Yeah, Alex will do that. Sorry, Diane. <laughs> See how he is. I have some other I know coins, so I'll give you. That's why if you said yes, I'm not worried. Alex, for thank 35. you so much, Uncle Sam. That's thank awesome. You. 35. For, not for, for, for Alex. Oops. Alex making me look bad here. <laughs> yeah, we gotta dig something out quick. Oh, here we go, Diane. There goes my gift. Nope. That's why I said if. It was a big if. It yes, they are. Thank you, Oz. This went to Alex for 35. Thank you. Now. Thank you, everybody. He said scroll up. Congratulations, okay. Alex. And just so I don't look like I'm being a, a winky dink. Diane. What? Here you go. This is for Alex. Thank you. Did you, you put, put his, his name, name on, on it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I tore the bag open. What is in here? For my lovely bride, we have... No. We have the Charles and Diana. Come on, camera. If this doesn't focus, I'm going to just give it away and not to you. That one's for you. And then we have this one as well. Charles and Diana. So they're basically the same coin, but face different directions. Fred, you're awesome, buddy. Aw, Fred. And here's the other one. See, they face the opposite direction. This is a one crown. <laughs> That's all it took, Bigfoot. 35 bucks and I'm under the bus. <laughs> That's right. But then you turn around know, and look what he gave me back. Fred Carson. Ooh, I got two for one. Thank Maybe you, Fred. Check the ears. You're awesome. We appreciate you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. What a what a day. No kidding. What a day and <coughs> what a week thus far. Yep. And the extravaganza continues tomorrow. Tomorrow. And you know what? I should go get this thing. I and I shaved my beard Monday, preparing for this. Look what it, look what happens. Serious? Yeah, I got all gray. Yeah. You need to shave it. I did you Monday. Trim it. One day I shaved it. Your lips? Everything. You did not. I did. There's Diane. She's camera ready. <laughs> you did. <laughs> There's Diane. She's you camera. bet, Nam. No problem. All right. Hold on. I got to take that off of this ugly mug because that's how I am. Before Fred, you do that, I'm you gonna... are amazing. What, Diane? I'm going to share tomorrow's lot. Please share tomorrow's lot. While you're doing that, I have a few things to say. Okay. Like, 
Thank you all for your super chats and support tonight. Thank you all for your bids, your support, the fun banter and chat. We appreciate it all. And that's right, Decone. And uh, Fred, I shaved mine yesterday. <laughs> so it was great to see you all. And uh, that's right, it is a Chia Pet beer, but don't tell anybody. Chia Pet uh, beer. We, we had a great time. Tomorrow we'll be back at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. And then Saturday we have 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then yep. we're done. And we're back week. to go. By the, the way, guys. The hands will be over. But tomorrow evening is Coin Ops at 7, 8 o'clock Eastern. Yep. And that's all OBW rolls tomorrow. It is. And then Saturday, we are both doing our auctions. Robert will be at 3 o'clock Eastern. And we are having all $1 opener customer appreciation, uh, both of our auctions on Saturday. So try to make them if you guys can. And thank you very much, everyone. Uncle Sam Silver, thank you, ma'am. That's, yeah, Robert, ma'am, Robert and Florida Lena do tomorrow. They have all OBW rolls. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Eloisa, it's great to see you. Always great to see you, Eloisa. Cindy, uh, ma'am, hidden. I mean, there's Florida Lena and... Thank you, ma'am. Decone. And guys, thank you for hanging with us this week. I yeah. know it's been a kind of a challenge and Ed. something that's just weird, but we're launching up the fall. And thank you so much and for Oz, celebrating with us. Uh, we don't know how to thank you enough. Right. Um, Good sacrifice, probably a lot. Yeah. I know what you're going through. You're a it's great, a challenge. Great friend, and just I don't know what to say other than thank you and We'll take care of you for sure. So good night, everybody. God bless, and we will see you all tomorrow. And remember, do something nice for somebody just because you can. Pay it forward. Good night. Thanks, guys. Good night. Hi, ho. We love you, brother. Yes, you're awesome. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Your help.